Microphone? Yeah. Okay. The way that this is set up is that I have two of these. Two. So whenever they finish a match, you cut the stage fans. You just twist the stage fans because it'll show the fans that they're doing. Yeah. Like like that. You guys report your score. Huh? I didn't know. I did update, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And I'll show this. And then once they're done stage banning, just return to gameplay. Mm hmm Yes. And that's it. Yep. Um, because CSH, the this thing, is already set to track sets on a stream. It is, but it's not yet. It, it's already set to track sets on a stream. You don't have to. Yeah, but not this. That is all. That is all you have to do. Okay. And we all can start that one. Okay, so starting off, it looks like a Chino. Oh, you still have to speak much. You still have to turn, just don't scream. No, yeah, I mean, I'm... Okay. Just speak much. I'm trying to figure it out. And he gets the command grab, and he goes off stage. See what Lachino tries to look for, gets hit with the banana, and gets you back on stage. And now he gets another command grab, and it's looking kind of dire. Because... Diddy Kong will not be able to kill Bowser, and he has to constantly hit, whereas the Diddy Kong is basically dead from other um, interaction. Gets another side B, it hits the ticking time bomb. Needs to watch out for that. Oh, the ledge cancel. The forward in, he gets another one, and the Diddy Kong is out. Four command grabs, and he's dead. Let's see, now comes the difficult part. Can the Diddy Kong take the stock, or will the Chino be able to continue getting extra credit? But it looks like the ledge trap now begins. Here comes the banana. Take it, drop it, and let's see what he does. Goes for the side B, but Lucino manages to get past it. Now he gets center stage. Now, Don now the Diddy Kong has to fight back. Let's see. And now, here comes the damage. Comes the difficult part of having to kill the Bowser. 129%. And Diddy Kong, 43%. That's nearly kill percent. 138. He's swinging. But human just needs to make sure that he cannot be put in a position to where he can die. But then he gets the banana and the down air. <clears throat> now, let's see if the Diddy Kong can make up the deficit. Since Bowser is such a heavy character, you can get you can calm him quite a bit. So deficit isn't actually that bad so far. Wait, I think it's the thing there. Sledge Hat, but Lichino fights back on with a get-up attack. So the down there, Diddy Kong gets the command grab. Now, Ledge Trap. Let's see. Tries to fight back on stage. Another command grab. Um, but, <clears throat> except this time, the command grab isn't as deadly, just slightly tilting, having to get grabbed over and over. And he opts for the suicide. Can the Diddy Kong make it back? No, that's 58%, and now it's even. I would say this situation is heavily advantageous for Bowser, because now, here it comes. Zero, two, is nothing, because he misses the up air, but he, or in there, he gets the up B. <clears throat> More damage, but here comes a Diddy Kong combo, but drop conversion. Another drop conversion, these two clippers are constantly dropping, but that's okay. Here, they're just swinging. Another command grab. Kong probably needs to watch out for how he's holding his shield because Helaman or Chino is constantly sniffing that out. But does not see and he goes for another one. He's constantly looking for that. He keeps jumping, that's his main landing option since it's a fast option to be able to deal with because as Bowser's common landing options are down or, or just an air dodge, but the side B adds an extra mix up. As you can see right there. 123%. Can the Diddy Kong get past it? Flame Breath in two. Misses the F tilt. Ah, F tilt gets beaten out by the side B. Yeah, let's see if the Hillman can finish the song, or will the Diddy Kong be able to finish it off? Tries to read the op, tries to read the air dodge, doesn't do anything. Diddy Kong and ESDs allowing Lucino to take the game and the set. Oh, Diddy Kong, like, close fighting against Kong. Exactly. I like all of you. I'm just trying to take Well, Lucino is slow to like, just one character here. He's with the flavor. I wish more top tiers were like him, and not like 
Yeah, you're right. Oh, did you finish the map? Yeah, you can see that. So... No, we lost it at Ghost. Yeah. No, no, no. That's because it hasn't... Uh, we're going to do that. I'm stuck. Oh, I didn't forget to do that, huh? That's the... Uh, Put the storm again. Uh, 12. Yeah, and what about the storm? So it's going to be... Oh, wow. Any person is better than that. Looks like Miss. Hey, Marcus, you're not. Stretch play. I hardly. Captain Will, Spy. I know those guys. Dave, are you in mine? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Who's the last one? Donald? Johnny. Pink. That's not. Flash out. I was playing. That's not. Yeah, no, it's not. 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 That's the biggest skip. Alright, take it over. Should like buy five, five and will. Can we can start another game with King's Burn. Give me a second. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hold on. For those this is pool captain is based on really? old, uh, oh, Amanda's right? Yeah. Okay, because if you play against I'll play in the game. Yeah. Where are you playing with? I'm playing spot. Okay. Hey, John, John, why'd you say, oh boy? It's been six months. I'm sure you've got better. Can you start? How is there? This one? This one, yep. Yep. Looks like there hasn't been a different one. Everybody's gonna have to play everybody. What's that? What about two? Oh, yeah, let's just get Spider Man? Spider Man? That's just pretty neat. Honestly, I thought they were already fine. Yeah, pretty fine. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that this is our seat. The Chino's fine. It updated on my... Yo, Dave, can I have to wait for this, or what are we doing here? What? Oh, friends, restart. Okay, restart. Sit off. Uh, what about the sisters? Alright, we have our next two competitors. Uh, for the stage bans, I assume that Spy should look to be banning Battlefield. Oh, well, they just decided to pick the Pokemon Stadium too, so it doesn't really matter. Depending on who wins, the next bans and counter picks will be very, very interesting. So, and now we begin the match, Bowser versus Lucina. Now, I'm not too entirely sure of this matchup, but I feel like it's probably Lucina favored, since Lucina really has the range, even though Bowser's forward air is quite long. Lucina's disjoints can also match up Bowser's, and she can edge guard him quite well, and her juggling is also really strong. But, this is no ordinary Bowser, this is Latino. So let's see if Spy uh, has a good game plan into this, and now... The, probably the most difficult part for Lucina is the ledge trapping because the flame buff does reach underneath the ledge. Although Lucina's up B has invincibility, the flame buff can meet through it, especially as you see right there how Lucina timed it. It's where it will affect um, when she gets up rather than her up B. And this doesn't get hit, but as I'll explain in that, <clears throat> Lucino seems to have been ledge trapping quite well, and he is stuck at the percent. Lucino gets the air dodge, reacts, and goes for another side. The spy is still stuck in his vortex, tries to fight back. Lucino gets the Epto 2 frame, and now the only 52%. This Lucina has a massive wall to try and climb back on. And difficulty comes because now, another well, difficulty, this is the killing aspect of it. Although Lucina is a very good character, her main kill options are edge guarding, back air, and also her side smash. But you can't get all you can't get those unless you're spacing, and the edge guarding is more difficult if you're the one who's constantly getting ledge trapped. But it looks like he's doing a good job on keeping his advantage saved. Oh, but Lucina has to land on the ground, and he manages to get the side B, and now 47%, 121. 
Lucina tries to read, but he doesn't get it. And now here comes the ledge trap from Lucina. Tries to read with the side smash, but misses. And Lucina lands with the nair, gets a combo. And he goes for the counter. Lucina isn't ready to punish that. Gets the backer. Let's see. Jump nair. Yes. But Lucina knows this and jumps over. Falls out of side B. This character is unfortunate. Continues. 159%. The upper won't kill. So while the up to 168%, this Lucina will die I am in a couple other conversions. Here comes the F tilt, and now she's going to get let champed. Let's see. Oh! But Hiraman misses the ledge guard. He's going ledge, and Spy, through his position, manages to get to Nair, taking the first stock. 99%, but this isn't anything that a ledge trap or a juggle situation can't beat. Somehow Luciana survives that. The downer hitbox stopped the main downer, which is uh, quite interesting and unfortunate of Helaman. Because that might have been able to give Spy the window that he needed in order to make this game even again. Now here comes, they're spacing around each other. Sienna's looking in for an opportunity, spacing the forward, but Helaman just gets the run up side, be a punish on the forward air. Now 53%. Comes one must imagine Sisyphus Happy, the constant uphill battle of having to make sure you kill this dragon turtle. But Spy doesn't seem to be too phased by it. And from this intent, they sound quite trivial, but Hillman, which you know, goes for the suicide and Spy is down. First game going to Lachino. So let's check out their stage bands and see. See what they do, because this is probably the most important part. The channel will probably want to ban stages like Final Destination and Kalos, because they're more flat and they're more difficult for Bowser to land. Yeah, we see the Final Destination ban. As for the third ban, uh, he decides to ban Pokemon Stadium. And he decides to ban Battlefield, leaving Kalos open. So now here comes what Spy wants to pick. Bowser has a lot of kill power off the side, especially with the forward and F tilt, so Smashville is probably not the greatest choice. Town and City would probably be the best choice, in my opinion, because it has a final destination. Ah, and Spy decides to go to Small Battlefield. I'm not too entirely sure of this choice. You keep going. But we'll see how it turns out for Spy. The, the difficulty with Small Battlefield is that it, I feel like it benefits Bowser more than it benefits Lucina because of those platforms that are always there and the smaller blast zones that Small Battlefield offers, meaning that Bowser benefits more from the killing than Lucina does. But let's see how this goes. Let's see if Spy's counter pick works out for him. And uh, Healin opens up with the forward air and misses the grab, but he gets the grab here, misses the forward air again, but he's still chasing. And then let's go. Drops to the down air, gets hit by it. And that's the mix up that Bowser players always do. It's either the down air, they have to land with nothing, or the air dodge. See, as you can see, that down air and Spy is still having to try and adapt it, but he is getting the grab and he's still getting hit by that down air. And he's taken around 40 ish percent from that. And for the stop that, he'd be in a pretty good spot right now, but now he's getting juggled and ledge strapped. Yep, and the get up attack, and here comes the cycle, the down throw. I felt like forward throw might be better, but it doesn't kill. Oh, and Helaman barely misses the side B. And see, he decides to go for it, and he gets hit with the down air. Spy, once again, not being able to adapt that habit of Bowser's. You need to hold shield there in order to see what they do. And here comes the forward into the grab conversion into a miss. Hillman has missed that every single time, which is quite nice for Spy because that means he doesn't take the unnecessary damage. But now he has to go for the kill. He goes for the side smash, but Hillman lands on top of him before he's able to do so. Hillman calls him on immediately, gets the up smash, and kills him at a low 70%. Now, Spy, can he actually do it? But it doesn't seem like he will. But you can never count out these players. If you give him an inch, they'll take a mile. So let's see. The lead strap. Uh oh. Supporter gets up the 141%. He only needs this one kill and then a whole conversion off of a juggle situation. He can easily even this up. Tries to go for the air dodge and heal him and manages just to get back on. Takes the back air. Almost dies to the side smash, but Spy nearly gets through it. But Healman keeps up hovering high and he keeps getting that percent. Every percent matters for Spy right now because he's getting closer and closer to dying and more and more close to losing this game. See, Healman dies underneath of the and gets clipped by the Nair. Spy 
Only two, only a stock down. He needs to get this. He needs to be able to start the struggle situation, and doesn't need to get um, antsy. But this is a good start. But he's still getting clipped by the down air. He gets the shield break. Let's see. Can he do something? He goes for the off punish. Thirty percent. That's pretty good. He's some off stage. Ah, uh, but he only gets him near into back or 101. This might be it. Let's see the flame breath. Roll gets the forward air and spy uh, bad guy perishes. Another set goes to the Chino. I was unable to actually get the stages, but I assume they went to uh, yeah, there is Pokemon Stadium. Then that's give me one second. Oh, to reset? No, not to reset. Shrug. Swap teams? Oh, I just have to collect that whenever they move. Oh, that makes sense. Alright. Spy gets to go back. Lucina versus Diddy Kong. This matchup is Diddy Kong favor. Diddy Kong has normally always done well into the sorties because his ability to whip punish with banana outranges ranges the uh, sorties, well, swords. That's the main weakness, is their whip punishing, as you can see right here. Banana, and here comes the lead trap. Poor Spy. Getting lead trap by the Chino, he's getting lead trap by the Diddy Kong. But, from his last match, let's see if he's able to adapt. Gets forward at 100%, no answer from Lucina. Diddy Kong, he's swinging, and he gets the read correct. Spy, thinking, how does he get back on? Maybe he fights aggressively, he chooses the roll, only to get thrown with the banana into up smash. Zero to death, coming from iCarly.com. But, for stocks, are a humongous indicator for how the rest of the set will go, or how the rest of the game will go, but let's see if Spy can break through that and keep his cool. Oh, he's, he seems like he is, he's only he's gotten 45%, but now, Air Dodges gives him, gets downer into up E. So much percent coming out from the Diddy Kong onto the Lucina. Drops the banana to try and snipe the recovery. Spy needs to try and avoid that ledge as much as possible. Instead of trying to go for these reversal options, he should be looking to try and take more stage control here. Here. And he always keeps swinging. He gets punished for it once again. They're getting killed by the up smash 120%. Diddy Kong, only 50%, three stocks, and a single banana conversion will be more than 50%. He'll be able to lap him. Spy needs to be able to see this, and he goes for the banana into side smash, but too short. But, looks like he's been able to jungle. Mashes to punish side B. This is a good look for him. Now he's on ledge. He gets the forward air. Also has control of banana, but he doesn't get up in time. And manages to with this much. Gets a side smash, and he takes the stock. Spy's not out of it just yet. It's not over until it's over. He gets a jab, gets a banana, gets a dash jack, 30%. Let's see. Gets the banana, get into another jab. Tries to drop the mana, but now... Let's trap. Let's see. Will he be able to, to fight back on? He does. Now, can he take this? Can he take this opportunity? And it looks like he is. Nope. Just punished from the F tilt, and now the Diddy Kong misses the conversion, but he lands on the banana. Still stuck, and he gets down aired. Dominant game coming from iCarly.com. Let's see if Spy can make the necessary. Uh, adjustments for the next game and let's see what the kind of bands are i'm not too sure what you would ban but it's common to ban final destination and kalos i feel like i probably would want to ban these oh well oh well seems like there's no bands and just decided to go small battlefield i'm not too sure of this matchup and what stages you go 
I imagine you won't want Final Destination or Kalos for Diddy Kong, but we'll see. To the character picks, and he starts from the Diddy Kong onto the Olimar. So I also just need to realize that a uh, spy is. Oh no, no, it works. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's whack. So I is the one who is playing the Lucina. I Carly is the one who's playing the Olimar. Not too entirely sure to fix it. And also, it's this game one. It's not. It's game two. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll blame Dab on this one. But let's see. This matchup, I feel like, is more Lucina favored. Because Lucina has the range to deal with Olimar. And can also edge guard him quite well. So let's see. Can Spy take this? Tries to go for the normal get up read and misses barely. Gets it down. So it looks like he's doing a lot better. Since he doesn't have to deal with the banana but only has to deal with the Pikmin, it seems like he has a much easier time. But this Olimar is looking to try and kill him. Yep, lands a downer, goes into the up air. Backer might have been able to land, it would have secured him a kill, but the up air provides him the damage. Tries to swing for the forward air. Let's see. Olimar makes his back on stage. Forward air. Can he? No. Let's trap him. Flies well, nothing, and he gets the back air. Spy, humongous response, takes the first stock in this game. And let's see if he can take this. Take this stock and run with it, because this will be able to secure him that game three. In order to keep him, more wins so he doesn't end up in the loser's bracket of this Swiss. And so gets the air dodge read. He's constantly covering landings. Spy playing much better now. Oh, he tries to read something, goes for the spot dodge and up tilt, only to get grabbed. But let's see what the Olimar responds with. Goes for the us rash, gets grabbed for it. He doesn't have any purples or reds, so his kill power is much worse. And he gets edge guard at back air spy. Now he's the one who's two stocks ahead and he's doing well. But now he's got the purple and he's got the red. The Olimar's kill power is much stronger now. Those purples are difficult to deal with and spy should be looking to try and get rid of them. Um, but... And he decides to fight aggressively, gets the air dodge, and he should be dead. But the Olimar doesn't go off stage, I said, apting for the air dodge in. But spy. I still not dying, I still managing to take this, but only purple, now blue, there, now he can go for a grab, but he tosses the blue away, he tosses the purple, can he go for it, so the white doesn't do anything, it's probably one of the worst circuits, but now, he has double purple setup, Let's see if the Alma can take this, only 57% that the up smash doesn't kill, but he gets the up air on the landing. Spy, still a whole stock ahead, 68%, Delmar definitely can make this back, because double purple does a lot of damage. But Spy should be looking to try and kill this Pikmin. As you can see, he tried with the up tilts, but doesn't. Still has the up tilts, but he does get run the purples. But 34%. He tries to shield the shield breaker. Not a great idea. But Spy taking this up air, back air, and he dies. Spy takes game two. Now we go to see what stages these players will pick. Will they go through bands or will they just go? Oh. Comes Spy is the one who decides to ban Final Destination and Kalos. I believe that he will probably want to ban uh, oh, Town and City for the same reasons of that flat stage is that he goes to. He doesn't want to deal with that, especially if I Carly wants to switch back to the Diddy Kong. Yep, and we get the Diddy Kong back. Those bans were good. Now let's see. Can now that Spy has managed to win the game, can he take this confidence and beat iCarly? Actually put up a fight. Oh, he gets a banana conversion, 28%. But Diddy Kong's conversions hurt just as much, 48%. And he gets it down there. And Spy gets a reversal. And he manages to get take the first stock. He's already he's ahead on this. A much better start than the, than the first game. But... 112%. This is still scary to deal with. He just makes sure he doesn't give up the opportunity and he gets side smashed. Nice. Now it's just an even game. It's like if they started with two stocks, like it's Smash 4 again. It's by still ahead in the stock lead or in the present lead, but anything from Diddy Kong will be able to immediately uh, make that even. But Spy is able to catch these landings much better than he used to. Seems like he has learned quite a bit during this matchup. It's adapted quite a lot. Now it's up onto R. Carly to see if he can actually do so. Well, Spy is playing it very well with the banana. 
safe F tilt, and he dashes back just to get to the side B. Let's see, can iCarly get the conversion? Oh, back air, back air. No, and he gets whacked before he can grab that banana and do something. Gets upper, and he dies. Spy, that's complete stock ahead, doing much better. Now, can iCarly make the comeback? Now he's the one who's on the back burner. Gets the dash attack, gets the four there. One banana, gets the four there again. He needs to get this ledge trap, and it's back to even. These two players are adapting very well to how they do, to how they're playing. But it seems like Spy has the upper hand for now. Still attacking on damage, 50%, 60. He just needs a couple more hits, and it's in kill percent. But the Diddy Kong just needs one banana toss, and he gets it. The side smash taking it, 60%. That's just one banana toss and the down throw into whatever the monkey does. But Xena tries to get the banana, misses it. Tries to landing, gets hit again at 57%. Lee Kong's catching his pack up. Tries fighting back again, gets hit with the banana. He gives him the air dodge, but he doesn't punish it. He wants to look for the down air. He does get it. But Spy, still stuck on the ledge, grabs the banana. This game is extremely close. Let's see whoever's the most clutch. He just needs banana and Spy gets hit the banana to the smash attack, but still living at 119%. Diddy Kong, 92. Your Spy just needs his back air. Oh, he manages to get it, but iCarly is sealing the deal by covering the line with the up smash. Spy cut up a good fight and a good adaptation, but iCarly manages to clutch it out. And take the set. <laughs> Also, by the way, you got the salt first with the third, and that one's pretty good. Zero hanging. Bro, catch this. I was like, how did you take those balls? You take them. Twins. Well, you don't have my karma. What? Spider-Man versus? Thank you. Oh, are you going to make sure this is true? Okay. Um, that bird you playing? Uh, John? Yeah, I have a question. So it has like this game one, game two, game three. Does that? Never mind. That's channel two. So which game? Yeah, can I change that? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Okay. I don't know. Because it was still in game one when own release it. What? Oh, oh, so it lights up red, blue, it's actually the video. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. It's like, oh, red one, game one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. Uh, I'm happy. Excuse me. Well, the word is... Oh, yeah, yeah, E to swap. Yeah, there's no way. No, 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 no. I was gonna ask, is there a way to? No, nothing. You guys just don't come. We're not playing right now yet. What? No, no, don't worry about it. No, I'm going to take the answer to the I was going to talk about, like, because the names are correct, the characters are correct. Oh, that's a first one. There's no matter after that. No, that's not what you have to say. Bull trap. Bull trap. Bull trap. Bull Versus sunshine. Bull trap. Oh, there's not too much easier. here. It's right there. Oh, oh, you can't can't do that. oh I can't see that. I'm just oh, that. Dude, there's like three of them. I don't know. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. 
now we have Johnny versus Dab, and here they are on they're actually gonna be banding stages. Dab bans Battlefield, and let's see what Johnny bans. They'll probably end up going to Pokemon Stadium anyways. There's the Hollow Bastion ban, probably ban Town City, and then Dab Domain probably picking Oh no, he decides to be special and unique! Unlike everyone else here, and decides to go small battlefield. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, Incineroar versus Violet. I'm not too sure on this matchup because the only place I have seen it is MKLeo versus SkyJ. But I imagine that it's. I imagine it's even. Probably. I'm not too sure. But Dab, explosive start with the immediate 40%. Tries to cover the uh, Snow Arpy, gets another grab, and throws him back for the ledge guard. Let's see. Can Johnny make. No, he cannot. And I forgot my words. I'm sorry. Still trying to land, still getting juggled. Gets the air dodge, and Dab is perfectly frame trapping him. Gets the nair, but manages to send him back on stage. It's nice, but he gets the jump off back here. And zero to death from Dab. Let's see if the Incineroar can respond. Or is it possible for a JV3? No, it's not. Alright, he's getting <laughs> he's getting hit with the um, <clears throat> side B. I forgot what it's called. I'm so sorry. Dab tries to go for the read, but misses it. But it's not too much. He has a full stock lead. Gets a grab. Tries to Tomahawk him, but the Incineroar responds quickly with the jump out there. But he gets, in, gets the revenge. Can he get? No, he cannot. Gets grabbed back thrown. Can he find his way back on stage? Or... He's tried doing an aggressive ledge option only to get reversal. So let's see. Dab tries to go for the show break, but barely manages to make it. Dab is making making a mountain out of his lead. Being able to tries to go for the up -E spike and now gets spiked. Dab humongous lead ahead. And let's see if the Incineroar is able to claw his way back. Incineroar does have that comeback mechanic or comeback ability, but Dab is on a different roll here. Not just 63% to 71. Tries to style on him by going for that and gets punished for that. That's what you get, Daph. And let's see. Since he got that stock, let's see if the Incineroar is able to get that. 30, 36% to 37. And he manages the bolt. Side B gets a dash deck punish. Let's see. Tries to look for it. No, he tries to make a read or maybe a miss input. But Dav gets it back or sends it back on stage. Tries to read it at a higher option going for the down air. But I just get back. Gets the back air. Dav gets down air. It seems like he has made a crucial mistake by trying to go for that down B. The, and the Incineroar has managed to take it. You cannot give anything up for these players because they will take it. Let's see if Dav can get it. And he does. Gets the back air, taking the first game. So let's see what they go for. Dav bans up Battlefield, Smashville, and Town and City. I. Agree with the Smash Roll, I'm not too sure. Uh, no, I agree. Actually, yeah. No, these are pretty good bands. Because these are all good stages for Incineroar. Because Incineroar does like killing off the side with his side special. Well, and those three stages have very small blast zones. And he decides to go to Final Destination. This is a rather intriguing one. Because that means both of these characters don't have landing options. But Incineroar, Incineroar's landing options are much more worse. But instead of going Incineroar, he's actually playing Rob. This is actually, I believe, much better in the situation. And for this, because the Bylet is forced to approach these kind of projectiles. Gyro is extremely strong. Blazer covers the entirety of the jump. But let's see, will this state, will this new character pick be able to get him the second game? Though Dav doesn't doesn't have this explosive start, but he is doing quite well. She gets the roll read, gets the side smash, but it wasn't the tipper. Dav once again getting these backers. Tries to go for the side B and will he get punished for it? Nope. And we're getting some good old neutral. Gets the parry on the Nair, which is one of the best things you can do against Rob. And let's see, will Johnny try to aggressively land again? Because Dav has constantly been punishing these with a back air or with a forward air. So I believe that what, da what Johnny should be trying said is to probably look for a timing mix-up or just as to probably just, um, maybe, well, I have no clue actually. Yeah, I don't know. But timing mix-up will probably work out better. Gets Nair, unsafe Nair, or gets grabbed for it, and he almost gets sniped. Goes for the side to try and reflect it. He goes high, Dav, avoiding the Rob down there, and the Rob does not SD. He still had enough in the juice. 
Daft keeps trying to go for these edge guards, but he's getting himself reversal. But he rolls back on stage and takes center stage. A good response. Now we're back to good old fashioned neutral. Where both characters are now looking for cheese options to kill. Oh, and Dab gets the snipe on the Rob. Now, Dab, now that he has a lead, doesn't have the. Doesn't have the. Um, the I, I'm so sorry, I can't. He doesn't need to approach, whereas the Rob kind of does. But. We're, but Dab is constantly taking his lead, getting the air dodge to ledge, gets the grab, gets the back through. He's taking this extremely well. Try, goes for the back air, edge guarding the Rob. A scary maneuver because Rob's reversals are very strong, but then again, the sore bylifts. Gets hold of Gyro again, it drops it, and Dab looks for it, and he gets the conversion, capturing or getting the landing with the side smash. Dab is doing extremely well. The raw pick may have been better, better, but Dab does not seem to care, and Dab seems to have still adapted quite well to this player's playstyle. However, just like the last game, Ama Johnny was able to get two stocks back, like even most managed to get two stocks back. So this game isn't completely over just yet. He's now juggling him. Dav trying to find a way to land. Ops to try and go for ledge, and he does. Air goes high and air does. And now he has to find his way back. Tries to get the down air, but Dab, oh, let's see, looks for the back air, he gets it off stage, and now he tries to go for the edge guard. Does he get himself a reverse hold? No. Manages to live, but Dab tries once again to go for the reversal, but doesn't get punished for it. Tries to go for the read, but he misses. And Dav, once again, sends himself off stage, but he's never getting punished for it. Except he get, does get caught on this jump right here. Has to be eat out the air dodge. But Dav goes far out and still manages to get through. Johnny cannot seem to get this stock off this Violet. Gets the laser snipe. Can he get it? Nope. Oh, will he? And he gets a spike. He finally gets it. His hard work has been rewarded. But now he has another stock that he has to burn through. The one good gyro combo should be able to take this. He gets it. Gets it back through. Tries to go for the down air. But Dav fights back home with the jab. Gets the arrow. Now Rob is the one off stage. And Dav tries to get the two frame. Doesn't. It's the forward air. Tries once again to go for it. Will he fight aggressively? Yes. And Dav seems to have gotten a sense for it. Because most of his damage has been getting for it. Does he go for it again? And he does. Dav covers all the options at the side B. But he barely misses the forward air. Tries to go for the down air. Can he find it? But it's looking more and more grim for the Rob. Dav tries to go for these cheeky edge guards, but he's not getting it. The story of this Rob's life, getting back at that ledge. And now, Dav wants blood, and he wants it, and now does he throw? He doesn't. Oh, maybe he does. Does that finish off the stock, or does the Rob manage to take this stock? And he gets a reflection, 42%. It's not completely out of it. Rob is heavy, and Rob is big. Gets the grab, the down throw, tries to cover his option. Gets the laser, 83%. Tries to read him uh, going straight to ledge, but Dab just fires back onto Sage. Does he get back aired? Nope. He gets an insanely well-timed Tomahawk and attempts to <laughs> send him up into the air with the up throw. Dab seems to be having a bit too much fun trying to go for up B. Bob is playing well though, he's not dying completely, he's 127% and he dies to the parry up tilt. Dab takes the game to a oh. Bonnie stole the hot seat, getting Luchino. And we have talked about Luchino before, so we're probably going to be getting the Bowser. And we'll see what choice of characters does Johnny decide to go with. He has the Incineroar and he has the Rob. 
She could opt for a battle of the heavies or grapplers with the Incineroar versus Bowser. But I believe the Rob is probably the better pick, but I'm not too sure what Johnny is more familiar and comfortable with. Seems like we've heard his three characters. And we hear from Lucino, he does not want to fight against that Rob. So that might be the best option for Johnny here, is to go for that. Rob's built to the combo and Edgeguard Bowser are, in my opinion, more great than Incineroar's. However, Johnny may be more comfortable with the Incineroar, so that might be his better pick, or might be a better pick. I apologize for the sub-optimal commentary. So it seems like Luchino is giving coaching to his opponents. Good man, Luchino is a good man. And they're going to town and city. Let's see what Johnny has opted for. They're both Latino for some reason. Uh, well, uh, they're both seed four. Wait a second. Um, why is it not updating? Okay, well. Uh, all right, the chain is the Bowser, but though he's the one on the right on the webcam. So let's see. Chino off of his opener, managing to get a bunch of side to start off the match, but let's see. And he can retaliate to the downer. Let's see if the Incineroar can pick up on that habit. But Lucino immediately comes up with a bursting F tilt, caking the stock at a hundred ish percent. Pretty, pretty early for Incineroar standards. <clears throat> but Lucino, let's see, can he get the up through into up air? He does actually match the lone combo, gets in the side B. The Chino Classic, and now can he deal with the flame breath? Gets ledge trapped. Will he do it again? He will. Oh, he goes for the down B. Try and get it. The Insurf manages to fight back with the back air and gets the grab. An extremely good grab, but does he manage to get it? He tries to the air dodge, but he gets punished harsh with the back air dying. Once again, a, a pretty high percent, honestly. Yeah, but let's see. Oh, he'll like go with a sliding down tilt. He gets to one percent. Can he take it? Tries to go for the read, but Heelman gets them there to side B. What a funny combo. 69%. Maybe this could be his. Ah, uh, no, that means he's dying at 69%. And what a game. Dying at uh, 1 minute and 20 seconds. The Battle of Heavies. These matches go by quickly. Now, let's go see what the bands are. I believe. Okay, well, if this mouse works. Oh, Lord. Let's see. Ban Smashville, interesting. I believe he's probably going to ban Final Destination and Kalos, but considering these are both heavies, it's probably not that bad of a stage to go to. He probably wants to ban the larger stages. Pokemon Stadium and Kalos should probably be taken out of consideration because of the larger, larger stage fields. But Hillman, instead of opting for the ban on Kalos, decides to ban Final Destination. Perhaps he does want those platforms to deal with, and maybe he does want that space to play around with. Now, Johnny chooses to go to Kalos. Let's see, does Johnny make a swap here, or does he stick it out with the Incineroar? We would hear from Heleman that Rob does have the options and 
does have the options and moves to make Bowser's life not very fun. Hey, it changed. Not very fun. But it seems like he's still opting for the Incineroar. And let's see. Will, will Johnny make the necessary adaptations to defeat this monster of a beast? The Bowser. Monster of a beast, monster of a man, I guess. Hillman's built different. But that don't mean nothing. <clears throat> Gets the up B starts up a season percent. Hillman tries to go for the air dodge out. Reading that with a dash stack. Doesn't get anything but Johnny's able to get the revenge and Hillman sniffing that out. Manages to get the grab. Oh, but 28%. Does get that side B. That's a good start. Does he read it? He tries to go for the read, but Hillman nearly retaliates with side B. Tries going for the same combo, he's 116%. We should be seeing the flame breath. Nope, uh, he ends up SDing. Kielman, 40%. And now at 57. Gets. Manages to get the read correct. He tries to go for it, doesn't manage to get the roll. But Kielman lands with an air and he counters it. Johnny seems to be reading out these aggressive options with the counter, but Kielman doesn't seem to really mind. But Johnny is doing much better this stock, or much better this game. But Hillman goes for the SD, and someone was holding out. That's a bad, bad start. Dying at a very low percent for the Incineroar, and right now he's getting run over. 48%. Tries to land aggressively, takes the 68. Hillman gets the forwarder, 94%, and he goes once again for the SD. Once again, this game ending in 1 minute and 20 seconds. Do you want me? Yeah. Uh, one minute twenty seconds. What? Those are long. Right? I know. What's going on? Dude. Turn your off. Average damage three minutes first. That's long. I'll catch you. 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 Now, we get the next group. Johnny versus iCarly. Johnny being put through the gauntlet three games in a row. Exhaustion is probably weighing on him. But, as all competitors do, he must carry on. Let's look at updates, because uh, I'm not too sure if it will. Evil! You'll know, have to put it on like the stream setup. Oh, uh, did you put Johnny versus iCarly? Johnny versus iCarly. Yep, they're going right now. Yeah, right here. And then you just start match. I don't know if you can stream any. Click that. And then click do it. Dab duel, man. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, we're getting into it. Uh, it is Johnny versus iCarly, and I need to swap. Swap. And we see here that he has opted for the Rob into the Diddy Kong. I suppose that it's perhaps the items give him more to work with or more options against the Diddy Kong Banana. And then Cinemore doesn't really want to deal with Banana. And I feel like that's a pretty good option because it seems like that he's doing much better playing this zoning style. So playing just around the gel and the laser, forcing the Diddy Kong to approach. He gets the grab, let's see. Does he get a conversion? No. The down throw doesn't lead to anything, but it does get that nice percent. Johnny's doing a good job of making sure that iCarly cannot get these conversions. But now that he's on ledge, this is one of Diddy Kong's best options, but he fights back with the forward air. Diddy Kong sends him back. That's an option that iCarly seems to really like. The jump side B from that platform there, because... Uh, most characters aren't able to punish him if he goes past them, and not to mention, it's the 50-50 on button that he's going to kick or he's going to grab, making it a very good option. But I, but Johnny has managed to get through it twice. So let's see if he can manage to keep that up, because that is vital percent. But now the game's looking even. The expert has managed to get the percent, and he gets the Z-drop into down air, securing the first stock. Now, can he get that percent? 
Needs that banana, needs a nair, needs a down air, needs anything, honestly. Okay, but the Rob basically needs a grabble or a gyro setup, and he almost gets a side smash read, but it's not fast enough. And he gets the up, and the Dicon gets the up tilt, gets the banana, and here comes the damage, 48%. That's one Kazuya combo, or like two Kazuya hits. <laughs> but the Dicon seems to be taking this, getting constant. Constantly getting the hits because the Rob or Johnny seems to have gotten less patient. He wants to get this kill, but Diddy Kong is really good at taking those impatient approaches with the banana. But he does miss the recovery, and Johnny does get the up smash, killing him at a pretty high percent. And you know, like Carly Vitale to the banana toss into side smash, but he does manage to get. Does he get the Z drop? Goes for the toss into up smash, taking the Rob stock an entire stock ahead now. Let's see if the Rob is able to take this. He tries to land aggressively, and uh, Ayakali barely misses the banana toss. That would have been able to give him a ton of percents in order to use. But he gets the combo, gets the fourth throw instead of opting for the ledge trap instead of more percent. But Johnny manages to get out with the side B, but now he's, and he's trying to think of that. Because how else do you defeat that banana? You could try and reflect it back, but Rob is so big and side B is so slow and punishable that if he misses, he's taking a load of punishment. 109%. Now keep rising higher. He just wants that pummel, trying to go for those crazy reads. I Carly cooking. He might be a little bit burnt, but he's cooking. And let's see if he manages to get it. What is he looking for? Gets the banana tossed, and now he's just waiting, looking for the down cell, but the Rob manages to punish that. Let's see, can he be able to snipe him? And he dies to <laughs> the Monkey Rocket Barrel. That is uh, Diddy Kong in a nutshell. That is unfortunate coming from the Rob, but good on iCarly for probably planning that. Now, let's see what these players will ban. <laughs> They're both iCarly for some reason. Okay, never mind. Well, then there's Johnny. So, let's see. What does iCarly ban? He either... Oh, no, never mind. I'm blind. They decide to go Battlefield. This is a rather interesting stage pick from Johnny because Diddy Kong heavily benefits off those platforms, especially when it comes to ledge cancels and banana toss setups. But let's see. Does he still opt to go for the Rob or does he swap characters? He does go for Rob. I feel like he would want to try and find a stage to where... Banana is less effective and to where he doesn't get combos much, so probably more flat stage. But let's see if this battlefield pick it works out for him. Seems like he's sharking, so it looks like it's a much better start. But here it comes Banana Toss. Missed the conversion, but he does get the grab and into 40%. That's a pretty nice one. But the Rob fires back, getting 30%. Gets the monkey flip, tries to reflect back aggressively, but he gets punished for it. We talked about how the side B, although it can be a nice reversal option, is really slow and can open up you to more damage. This goes well to the even right now, but whoever gets the next combo or sends off stage will probably end up taking the next stock. Especially if they did a conference with the Rob. But he has hold the banana and doesn't seem to want to let go of it. But he gets challenged back and iCarly playing extremely well with it. He looks for the Z drop, misses it, but he does get the down air. Or drops the banana, but he has no ledge of invincibility. Tries to reroll, but Johnny does not capitalize off of that no ledge of invincibility. And iCarly seems to be more than content with staying on the ledge. But he gets the forward air sending off the Rob. Let's see how the Rob figures out how Johnny manages to get it. And air dodges in. I hardly waits very well and gets the banana toss in the side smash. Let's get that attack. Gets it. 29%. Gets chipping away. Manages to read the air dodge. Tries to finish him off with the nair into down air. But manages to get it. But the Diddy Kong firing into gets 66%. I don't know how much it was, but that seems to be a lot of damage. And I hardly knows he has no need to approach. And he can just wait for Johnny to make an, to make an unsafe option to make option only just to get more percent now we already left him a percent a hundred percent this amount of toss a hundred percent and he's even trying to edge guard him but he throws himself off stage but he manages to get the manages to get back on a reversal lane Let's see he holds banana johnny has to be careful with his approach but i carly faints it tosses banana away and just forwards him instead tries to read the air dodge in and gets the roll up smash johnny 
down two stocks. It looks like our Carly has this game sealed. Built. He is on a tear with his conversions, getting the rock, monkey rocket flip into the dash, into the downer, tries to go for the double, but Johnny, with good conscience, does end up stopping it. And will he be able to punish it? He doesn't. He misses the downer, misses the roll. And iCarly goes for the most aggressive thing, kills him the downer, a three stock. Dominant performance coming from iCarly. Bro. <laughs> Oh, so now, <laughs> one, I was passing and I'm like, you know what? I really should not lose any of this. I'm just gonna uh, stand still. Just like, I was like, I was like, oh, <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, I'm, like, I'm just not, uh -huh. I'm not really good. Like, I'm just like, what if I don't? What's a future? Oh, well, so they picked to uh, Peach's uh, Castle. I don't know. And they're actually doing Sage Picks. Let's see. What does Dad ban? I believe that he wants to ban Battlefield and probably Small Battlefield. Oh, I know. Now it's Helaman's turn to ban. Probably he wants to ban Town and City and Pokemon Stadium. Well, I'm not too sure on how Bowser does well on Hall Bastion, but I feel like it's probably not as bad because of the lower platform. Although it does make for a horrible sharking position. So, let's see. But it seems like Human isn't completely sure of what character he's picking. Probably wondering in between, oh, there's a Hall of Ashen, man. And now they're picking between the Pokemon Stadium, and they will be going to Town and City. Human is probably debating on whether or not to go Wolf or Bowser. But this also depends on what Dab chooses, because Dab does have two characters, being his Violet and his Mewtwo. Although I believe that his Violet should do well against both of Heelman's options, so Heelman has to be quite careful of what he picks, because this could decide how the set goes, and whether or not he does have to climb back from the game deficits. And you can hear talk, how he's talking about how yeah. Town and City, those small blast zones, does make it dangerous. And he does off for the Bowser. And let's see, with Dab locking in the Byleth, let's see if they are able to... Well, I, I don't know how I was going to finish that. But let's see. The supporter into side B, one of Heelman's, or one of Bowser's best starters, gets him the flame bath. Already 60%, that is 4%. He has to read, read a neutral get it, but he doesn't get it. And now, does he get extreme punishment for it? Nope, he gets the up B of retaliation. Dav, Red, Wong, Chagging with an up tilt instead of the grab. Heelman gets the roll distance off just by a little bit. If he managed to get it, he would have gotten a ton of percent. But because of that mistake, he does take a lot of punch for it. But he does get the Tomahawk side B. Dab holding in, going straight up. Not optimal DI, but he won't die anytime soon. But Kilman, merely taking him to take... Knowing Dab's habits of holding onto Legend, locks him with that up tilt, taking the first stock. Dab sees that Chill Zo goes for the down air. Now he has to figure out how to land. Gets to four into side B once again, 35%. Dav is still on the platform and Lucino. Knowing that Byla cannot 
recover if he gets side B. Does is trying to look for that. But Dab manages to call the jump out forwards. Doesn't get the air dodge. And let's see how Dab goes for it. Does manage to call it the side B and he does get the punish. And let's see if Peelman can figure out to land him. He does. Dab missing the F tilt, but he gets grabbed and gets back though. And Dab tries to. You get a mix up on the bow and arrow to try and provoke a reaction, but Heelman stays patient and and chooses the correct option while Dav misses the frame trap and follow up. But the flame buff does do a lot. Gets a tomahawk, another side B. Yeah, this is the problem when it comes to this kind of mix up. You're terrified of Bowser's options, but he also has that very fast side B. I believe it's frame six. And so you have to re so you have to be careful of how you're holding shield. And Dav managed to get the spot dodge correct. And let's see, how does he choose to land? And we know that Hillman does like the mix up that down air and that just do nothing because of the fear of the down air also being able to kill Dav. And Hillman hasn't managed to land, gets aside because of Dav's fear, and he takes the stock 183%. This is a pretty difficult to do so because of Although Dav can kill him quite easily, nothing goes, but he does get the snipe straight through his heart and does take the stock. Now he just needs to look for a good conversion, perhaps through a nair or through an up B, but Killman is making sure he does not give him the opportunity to get reversal, and he's constantly calling out these aggressive options with the forward air. Constantly going for it, goes for the edge guard, and now, let's see, goes for again, tries to go for the down air, and now he gets caught up to the jump, air dodges in, Dav getting the follow up, sending him off stage. Can he figure this out? Nope, but now. I guess now he's just constantly calling out Bowser's options or landing options, but he gets a side smash on the neutral getup, and the Chino takes the game. That side smash was an extremely smart option because Dav has always opted to forgo for these kind of aggressive options, such as jumping off the ledge to forward air or his neutral getup with the spot dodge. Side smash being able to cover both of them. Kill him in, the Chino. I'm just going to call them both. You know him. He covers all of them flawlessly. Now let's see where Dav decides to go to. He decides to go for Hollow Bastion. The ability to shark Bowser underneath that main platform is a very good one because if he just if he just crouches, Bowser is not able to down or through it. Let's see, still going Violet and still going Bowser. Let's see if Dav's counter pick does give him some fruit or does bear him some fruit or will the Chino still take it despite it. I believe the stage isn't also as bad for Bowser because Bowser can do the same thing. Human does miss that conversion that has given him such a good such a good start. The side B into the forward into side B, but he does get that. It's a special, but he does it. Human, as you can see, how he's now he's starting to use downer, and he's also trying to call out Dav's spot dodge. But Dav is starting to adapt to that as well, constantly either spot dodging or with punishing. But Lucino is now opted to go for a more slower style with that flame breath, sending him the distance where he only can approach with forward air or flame breath. But he gets inside the matches to close that distance. And now here comes the ledge trap. Killman has always talked about how, and he misses the roll distance once again. Killman has talked about how Violet and Bowser are essentially the, how they play out the same way. They go for the go for these ledge trap options. They have these big burly hitboxes. You also have to watch out. But dab. <laughs> Dav is unique. Some days he'll wake up and he'll be like, I'm going to play neutral. And right now, well, there's a few moments ago. Right now, Dav is like, check this out, down air. Okay, he messed it up, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would say that, but I'm not trying to piss off the other players. Nah, but Lachito, hold up, check this out. Yeah, let's see how next to get on. And he does make it. Back yeah. though. Nah, Back let's see if he goes for the side B, the Tomahawk side B, because that's an option that he uses to kill. I'm telling let's you. Let's see. Stop B. Nah. He's going he's gonna to jump? Yeah, jump. Side B. Side B. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time. But Dav is able to DI it quite well. And let's see. Does Lachino just go for the F tilt for there? He's going to go. Or for just that? He does go for He does go for the F tilt. Let's so see. Check this out. Bowser up tilt kills right here. He's going to run up, pivot, up tilt. Play down the for that. Oh, close enough. <laughs> he just dash back and covers Dab's landing with the F tilt, does get the kill. But now let's see. Gets the flame, but from that, 40%, baby! Check this out, side B action. Uh, about, he's, looking for the, he's looking for the cheese kill because he knows he can just kill Dab, but he does very bad air dodge and gets yeah, dashed attacked. Yeah. See, the beautiful part about Bowser is that every Bowser man has, like, oh my guy, yeah. hold up. Okay, that's done. Every Bowser man has, like, their favorite tilt and favorite sm smash attack. 
And right now, it's up smash and forward tilt. Yeah, looking like that. Those are based opinions right there. Oh, forward tilt. Gets a side and burst off to an up tilt, goes forward the flame brother trying to cover. Dab mentions jump on the the down air. Dab said, you want flame breath? I got my big spiky, what, I don't know what that is. Like that's an axe. It's an axe? An axe? <laughs> there is no way that's an axe. Yeah, that's the down is an axe, okay. Well, that's a spirit. He gets the demon to forward air kill. Hey, let's see if Helaman can respond. Oh, no, Tries to go for the edge guard, and Dab does not go for the reversal. Oh, but he's still getting edge guarded, and he gets the F tilt, sending him back to the other side of the stage. Here we go. Playing a little bit of Nooch. Dancing around ledge. Back air missing. Oh, oh, no, no, side he, now he lives that. He DIs those. Dab, more like, I always DI Dab. And he gets F tilted. Hey, he's on ledge for too long. That habit of his getting himself killed. And let's see, oh, does he open it? Actually hit the floor there. He does! Into the percent Gets in there! Goes for the fucking Not me! Dab said, hold up. Come here. Dab getting the F tilt. Not enough, though. Because you know, Dab might. No, Helaman might just randomly throw that side smash. Gets the up B 76%. Let's see how Dab gets off the ledge. He gets off. I, I, I sense a back air coming. Oh, the flame breath. He gets oh, the tap the air. Down air. Hey, the side the smash. Tries to go for it again and misses. Dab smash up there. attack right now. And let's see, how does Helaman land? He does manage to land, but Dab was trying to sneak out that spot dodge or anything else. Oh, but no, he gets he the first half jump. jump. Does he does. manage to find a backup? Misses now. F tilt. He gets past. Oh, no, he, he lives. He, lives. he does live those. He's the eye does perfectly every single time. Let's see, does he go for the F tilt? Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh, and he has these. The game go. The game and set goes to Lachino. I think Smash Attack Bowser, it has to be up Smash well you heard him at mr icarly.com he's uh busy talking about browser stuff and he's saying check this out let's see what he's planning is he gonna pull up the bowser <laughs> seems like icarly seems to be quite excited actually maybe he'll actually have fun this time Dab, yeah, the screen is frozen. Is it supposed to be? Uh, double click, sword. What? Double click the source. Double click the source. Okay, yeah. Disactivate. Deactivate. And reactivate. Okay. I see. Oh. Well? Someone. Well? It seems like the webcam. Oh, the webcam still working. Let's see if we can get the switch back up. We love technical difficulties. Everyone in this room is basically an engineer. We still suck at this. Absolutely crazy. Deactivate, activate. Let us see. I know we hear the Bowser. Can you hear the Bowser? I don't know what. Um, same thing that happened at the beginning of the freaking stream, which is not getting the video for some reason. Let's try to. Change video? Oh, we got it. Nice. So nice to get up. And now let's see iCarly with the Bowser. Let's see if we can implement that downbeat tech chase that he was talking to the Chino about. And let's see, does he have the Bowser in him? Okay, well, 
to the, the swap sides again, but just know that iCarly is the Bowser and Dav is still playing his Byleth. And let's see, this guy looks like a Spaz already, goes for the side, goes for the F2, and now he goes for the flame, but gets the roll in, he tries to mean to go for the up, he gets punished for it, and let's see, does he retaliate? Jumps, gets hit with it, uh-oh, Bowser almost gets down in the head with that downer, goes for the jump again, it gets punished for it, you'd imagine after the second time, or the first time, he'd go for something else. He goes for the flame, but Dav cannot punish this whatsoever, he gets clipped. Let's see, how does he land? Does he go for the forward or the side B? The two landing options, tries to go for the Randy side smash, but he misses and gets punished for it. Tries to go for the down air, and let's see. Goes for the preemptive up B again, he manages to clip him. Let's see, does he breathe on his face? Nope, goes for the up tilt. Tries to read the neutral the up smash, but he misses it. Gets the up tilt, and let's see, what does he do? Tries to go for the forward air, gets the immediate side B. 107% Dav DI's those. Gets the roll read, the up smash, he gets him, and he's going 69%, 69.6, ah, no, he's not, never mind, he lost his hour. He goes for the down at the very top of the stage, the Dav manages to react in time, he would imagine he has two seconds in order to do so, gets a down tilt, let's see, the back air, get, runs up and grabs him, tosses him, let's see, gets grabbed, tosses off again, tries to land back on stage, goes high, and now he gets stage control, breathes on his face, that's a fat percent coming out, tries to go for the down B, and he gets punished, but Dad only goes for the, for a grab, and let's see, let's see what he does, the Bowser, everyone's terrified of the Bowser, Dad will just do whatever he wants, and it seems like I call it, he's shimmying, goes for the up tilt, but he gets punished, he gets cut the down tilt into the up air, but that's not dissuading him, he's shimmying, uh oh, but he's not taking that 12%, but that isn't so much. He just needs that one good opening. Gets the up B, 103%. And F tilt, a forward air should do well. Tries to read the roll again. And he's reading, trying to get all these preemptive options. But Dav is just not falling for it yet. So, tries to go for the forward air. Gets punished for it. Gets punished for it. Goes for landing and down air. Gets him at 100. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4%. Tries to go for the... And he goes high this time, does that punish, he gets the grab, but he mashes out in time, that man is mashing. Goes for the downer, doesn't get punished, goes for the side B, and he does not DI those! That is at 124%, and let's see, can Mr. iCarly get the funny? Because he seems like he has a whole stock to play with, so let's see if he's got any sauce in him, or he's just going to do... Bowser stuff. Gets up tilt into up B. Doesn't land anything, but doesn't get punished. Does up B across the stage, trying to kill Castle, but the guess flame buffs when he's nowhere near anyone. Probably trying to kill Fire Officer Bros still. Oh, gets the forward air, uses his jump, but manages the air dodge on. Tries to read it, gets the up B, manages the wait in time. Brings out his face, but Dav just rolls right past it. And let's see. Air dodges, and let's go. Tries to go for Texas, and he does, and let's see the play. He messes him off. Pushes him off on accident. Dav gets another chance to live. But you know that this man is probably going to try and do it again. Let's see, he gets the flame back. Dav knows that his options are quite limited. Can't really get close to this man. And because this Bowser is out to try and get clips, he's trying to farm. Waiting for the air dodge. It gets trying, goes for the smash, misses. Dav. Still playing, hanging on to this game plan of just waiting for him to do an option, but he gets preemptive. Doesn't get the air dodge, gets the forwarder, asks him to jump, and he goes to the offstage, and he gets the kill. I call it taking the first game. And let's see what stages these fellows go to. Cool, it seems like they go straight to a hollow bastion. This is the same counter? No, this is the same counter pick that yeah this is the same counter pick that oh my goodness that means i messed up on the counter picks in the last match hey who cares yeah this, this is that same counter pick in the bowser seems like he really likes the stage in the bowsers so let's see now then we have a much larger platform so these tech changes are going to be much more common that we can get to because that is the main center of what we're going to get dav tries to get some jump tries to finish him off at the size match but i carly manages the air dodge in time He's constantly going high, and Dav is now calling out these drop sticks. Does he get the kill? And he does, shanking him in the head, and he gets the kill. Dying in 96%, taking him out with a zero to death. But now, let's see if Sal can catch, not Sal. I, Carly, can get these, get the percent back. Tries to read it, but he baits it out. Let's go, tries to go for the downer, that would have been a fat percent. He tries to go for it again. He's waiting out these approaches, waiting out these options. Dab has made quite the adaptation against iCarly, and let's see if iCarly can make the necessary ones. Goes for it, but Dab just plays it in his face. He does not care, he is not afraid of the fat Bowser booty landing on his face. 
and Dav con constantly calling out these options, getting the side smash again, running far enough, calls it, tries to be there, and he does get it, but he does miss it. But he does get the up tilt, and let's see if tries to go for it. Does he get the kill? No, he waits out the options. He waits again, gets the back throw, 69%. It seems like these magical percents are where all he gets, and he gets the up B spike. Dav displaying excellence and adaptation in this third, in this second game. Can Arkhan make this? He has no jump, but he does go low enough to avoid that down air. Gets the up here again, misses the back air. So, or I can't leave. Aya, trying to get these reversals, but he's dying for it. Gets that strawberry spot down air. And let's see, he goes for it, tries to go for it again, and he retaliates with the up air. Now you give him a chance to get the down air, but it's so possible. He tries to go low, and he has D's. Dav taking that game quite convincingly. And let's see if iCarly can make the necessary adjustments. Will he stick with the Bowser or will he try and crush this man's skull with the Diddy Kong? Let's see what stages they go to. Seems like they just are going back to, P or they're just going straight to PS2. Goes for the Diddy Kong. He is kind of sick of it. He wants to pick his skull. And let's see. Does Dab, will Dab be able to do well into this? We know that this matchup isn't good for Byleth, as we can see through the constant matches between Tweak and MKLeo, the premier Byleth and Diddy Kong in the scene. So let's see if Dab knows something more, or does he know more about this matchup than iCarly does about this? You can only see from the first 30 seconds on how well this will go. So let's see how the, monk, the Diddy Kong opener, he'll drop it. Banana will either side B gets it. Toss the banana and here it comes. 37% that tries to go for the air launch, doesn't. And now we're probably going to be looking for the dash deck or side B. Because those two options do do, do well into spot dodge, air, spot dodge shield and absolutely nothing. And he's holding that banana, gets the Florida. Let's see, goes for the monkey foot, but Dab gets it correct. Shields it, but that doesn't mean anything. Sal immediately playing with tons of it gets the down air, but Dav is holding straight in, so he doesn't get the, so he doesn't die immediately. But he is a hundred percent, and this is rather scary because a down tilt into anything will essentially seal this next stock. Gets it with Manana 149. He's looking for any SDs. Sal, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I call it, man. I'm so sorry. And you can hear Dav saying that he didn't jump. Seems like he's not very happy with that. But I call it, now has a banana in hand. Tries to land straight on top of him, but smooths out past him. Gets it. The percent tries to read the jump and air dodges away. We're getting 34% out of that. Now 45. He just needs another one. Probably going to monkey flip soon. Holds the banana. Let's see what he does. He does do the monkey flip and gets the grab on it. He's looking for the Z drop and a downer, but misses it. But he does almost capture the roll. The mirror doesn't capture it, but doesn't get that option. Gets a dash stack. Tries to wait for the air dodge. Does get the banana lead. Not able to get the forward air because of the unfortunate landing on the thing. But he's going for the same option. He does bleed out the roll because everyone is scared of neutral get up because of the Z drop banana. He's crazy, man. Let's left out more ledge trapping. Let's see, tries to hit a banana. Dad has to be really very careful. He's 140%. And iCarly gets the backer. He is not happy about that previous Bowser game and does want to make an example out of him. Gets it. He misses the conversion. Goes for another mirror. Runs away. That is safe on shield. And Dad does not seem to know what to do against the monkey that is constantly vortexing him. He is constantly getting banana peeled again and again and again. Yep. And see, he's probably gonna monkey flip soon. You know, <laughs> probably not. We'll see that he's not at the range. But it seems like that. I probably wants to keep up that pressure. But if that holds shield there, yeah, that monkey flip is definitely gonna be much more scary to him. But constantly getting that forward there, gets that monkey flip. Not hundred and three percent. Dad cannot see the side. Tries to go for it. He has days. He tried too hard to end the sauce. And let's see, will Dad make? Will Dav get something out of this opportunity, or will he just get the Manipa down tilted up smash? But let's see. Okay. Sal gets the ledge can. Sal managed to get the cancel of the down air. And uh, pulls the Anna. This might be Dav's last interaction. If Dav makes the wrong move, and it seems like he did not, he manages to go for another few. But however, he still has to get through a whole nother stock. Gets the grab 123%. Down to will confirm into a kill. He gets hit with the banana, still holding on. But Dav is still manages to get back on, tries to look for these kind of kills. But Icarly is sneaking, sniffing these kind of jumps. But Dav making sure he makes most of this ledge, tra this ledge trapping. Still getting it. And he does. It gets the upstairs. And he does finish him off on 96%. Now it's even stock, but he's down 121%. He does need a miracle stock right now. But will 
Dad will be able to squeeze this out, or will I call it finish him up by getting it. Gets the back throw, what will he do? And he gets up tilted, he has no jump, and oh, he does have a jump, I'm lying. And he manages to make it back, sneaks past it, doesn't get up tilted, and he misses the way back. And Carly is trying to secure this, no banana. Doesn't get the down tilt, 24%. The more percent Dad gets, the closer he is to getting a comeback on that game. And he gets the win, and the up tilt, iCarly secures the game and set. Yeah, I saw it. How'd you do? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. I swear that. It's, it's always I'm sorry that I'm like, not in work on like trying this. Before. Like, <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. It's alright. But yeah, but if I think you went to last slot, that's really good because I saw your performance in my function. I always. And you still did pretty good. So you just gotta get better at making sure you're at these guys fall down twice. I know. And a lot of that was also disgusting. And a lot of flops were like character things that I just didn't know about. Yeah, the last bit. Everyone here is disgusting. It's that like lost. So this the season checks out. Yeah. Alright. Oh, so many Alright, we got our next match in. I have no clue what stage they picked. Probably PS2. We got Spy versus Dav. Oh gosh, my head is like slowly passing out. Let's probably get the Lucina Bialik matchup. Let's see what Dav decides to offer. No, he decides to go for the Mewtwo. I'm not too sure if Mewtwo does well in this matchup, but the disjoint on Mewtwo might be might be good enough to outrun Lucina. And he does have a projectile, a much faster one, so that the ledge shopping is much better. And Dad is quite aggressive when it comes to his Mewtwo. Constantly looking for quick kills. And let's see if Spy. Spy has not, I don't believe, has been playing recently. Dad just came up, just is in the hot seat. So he is prime and ready to fight. Although that also means that he might be exhausted from constantly having to play these matches. But it seems like he is starting off this game with a hot, with a hot, with a hot start. 130%, he does need that grab just to kill him. And he gets the back air. Only 13% on Spy's side. Let's see if Spy is able to retaliate, but he is now starting to let shop. He just seen that little bit of that breather. Seeing him start getting a lot better. Dav constantly wants to fight back on ledge, and you can see right there, that is his one habit that constantly gets him killed for it. You can see. Dab dual neutral, let's get it. Okay, he's gonna run up and charge neutral. Yeah, it's a classic ledge shot for Mewtwo, and it depends on when that goes for the grab, but he gets reversal, let's see. He's, out. he's gonna run up and back throw him. No, Never mind, he keeps up hot. He just down tilt runs underneath him and gets the other shot, him at 100%. He said, come here, I'm about to eat you up. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the game. Spy got those, man. So how does that hit? You two sucks, holy moly. Spy has it. He's like, hey, your your oh your tail? Oh hold on, let me let me hit that real fast. Come yeah. Here. So I need to remember that he's playing a top tier and that what he's playing against is a mid tier. It's like he does not need to respect me. Oh. And he's dead. Very fortunate for Spy, he couldn't get back and dab and just making a misplayed thing. Snuck that, took that jump, that sneaky back air, or four tail, excuse me. <laughs> now then, let's see. What will Spy pick? Oh gosh, I have to move the Sage Bands, I'm so sorry. I had to go to Small Battlefield. Interesting stage pick, but I believe it benefits both. Does he change characters? No, he does not. He sticks up with the Lucina. And let's see. Does he make 
the adjustment. That is always the question of whether or not th these players can see the mistakes that these players are making and can abuse them. But as everyone's constantly adapting, they have to look for new things. Things that worked in one match may not work another. And things that didn't work may work in another future match. And it seems like Spy started off with a hot start. 60%. 70% Melissa is already adapting, having a much better start than previously when he just only got 13%. Now Dab is on the back burner, only hitting 70%. And he dies for fighting back that habit of his spy kills him for it. Only 31% on spy. But let's see, will Dab make these adjustments or will spy run again with the game? Run away with the game as Dab did to him. But it seems like Dab, as did Spy did in the previous game, is now starting to fight back. Tries to read it, and he does get the down to outside, equalizing the stock, only 39%, but that's the only show, like, that's only a small string that he needs. And so, Spy jumps over the shadow ball, doesn't take the much of a percent, but... Uh, what happens? Yeah, no, like, Spy, like, absolutely murdered him, because, uh, uh, Dad tried to fight off ledge, and then Dad just did the same thing with his dead down to one and then love smash. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Spy, more like, killer in the water. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. oh no, and he doesn't run into it. Don't look at all! He said, jump to the. Oh, no, he doesn't! He said, keep I like how half of you two smash attacks are like, get off me, move! Get off me, move! Yeah, Mewtwo does just hate people, so it makes sense. Check but this out. Let's see yeah, who gets. Attack. He's gonna go for an up air. Nah, man. Oh, he's just gonna do like a down tilt or something, or just grab. Oh no, he is going for that stack. Up tilt. Dude, Mewtwo's love kills, that move. Dab kills with up throw right here. Hey, we got it! Oh, he's smashing! <laughs> he's smashing off stage! Tries to roll, read the roll, takes 90% with the 27th. That was a nasty finish. They're gonna finish get the kill. Back. Up tilt gets the up tilt. Let's see, can he finish it off? Oh. No! I They're both constantly swinging, both constantly swinging. Goes to the down air! 63%. That's kind of scary for the Lucina. I don't think Spy's mother taught him how to finish his plate. <laughs> he's not finishing his plate. <laughs> 144, homie is leaving like 77 percent Bro, is Mewtwo anyway? Because this time, ah, uh, no, he's not. Right. He gets the kill. Now then, all he needs, good conversions. Yeah, he just needs one grab. Or oh, he's getting it. He's doing. Hey, he does, never mind. Don't grab. He's yeah, getting he's it. Got 50 percent. Keep doing it, bro. Get the last shot. Get the left tilt. Get the side shot. You know he has to fly the last smash. Oh, that's yeah. the blocker. And oh no, back here. Oh, get it. Just taking the game. Like game two. True. Spy takes the game three now, then. Which one of these two competitors will have the better adaptation? Because these two are swinging. Use all my brain cells. Yeah, I know, actually. Right, who plays D&D? Can I have get Does that count? <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. All right, check this out. I feel it. Dab is gonna get one kill throw this game. One. He's gonna get one. I mean, he better two of Mewtwo's throws are kill throws. Well, are we talking about forward throw or back throw? <laughs> a back throw and up throw, brother. I know up throw got a, uh, I mean, up throw. Forward throw got a buff where it's like, it's yeah. also at 150 now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you're TI like a monkey, dude. He too. Got to look like the yeah. little Oh, he goes for the counter! There he is holding it! Yeah, Mewtwo Josh! But 84%! That's why you just go for that side smash! Taking away the sock! Gets the bottom! He goes right now, but he gets smashed like in the face. Shadow Ball? Hold up. Dad! Oh, don't you want to get the counter? Really? Get off stage! So he gets hit! Slash is in up! And he takes the first stock. So you got a sword, but I got Shadow Claw. Hold on. Right. No, let's see. He doesn't go for it. Oh, he goes from there. Down to oh, He's poking. Dude. Dab. Uh, dab dual main? More like Dab always on ledge main. What? Dab dash attack, actually. Because oh he's got two of them in a row. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Dab feeling himself. Much. Oh, he misses it. It's being a short recovery. But oh. oh, up air to get off the poop. Get off me, bro. Dude, I love Dab. He's like. Go play neutral for 10 seconds and then like check out this. Spy needs to be looking for these kills, so instead of that down to he needs to put that edge to life right that there. That was such a smart nair. It stopped him from jumping, jumping and rolling. So it forced him to neutral get up and he called it with a forward air. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Spy unlocking his third showering gun right now. Uh oh. And he drops shield on no. Shadow Ball. And what? No! He doesn't have the them. Spy doesn't have the EMS. He ran out of Mont Gekio. He has to use his normal <laughs> eyes right now. Hold up. 
Daft playing beautifully, just playing so patient. Waiting for Spy to do something and saying, hey, don't do that. Oh, beautiful Shadow Claw. All right, we love oh. that. Oh, this is missing! He gets caught. Coming back. He said, stop. 60%. This isn't much of a death specific since it's Mewtwo. He just needs two good hits. But that dash deck gets the dash grab. All right, here we go. He's only that Shadow Ball. What will he do? Beautiful jump. Waiting for Dab to pick a get up. Get oh, up, Shadow Ball. I knew it, and he does. <laughs> Spy doesn't shield. He doesn't shield. Gets back thrown. 88%. He's Don't almost with the left. Oh. He's going to go. Disable. You oh, come with it. Beautiful. Damn, he's back. He's going to be pretty much. Well, Dab kill. No, we'll get the kill first. But Spy does need this kill because he's about to lose this game and this stock. It's like, if he takes a stock in the next, like, two hits, this is doable. He has enough rage to kill... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, no. He's no mash. No mash. One more grab will we'll secure oh. this game. Great four tilt. Let's edge guard. Why are you going off stage? Just stay on stage. Uh-oh! Dab not punishing the grab. Dab, stone shovel to a shout. Oh. Cast for the go. He's scared. Spy is indeed fighting his demons right now. He said, we're at BYU. I need to get a blessing. Hold up. True. Lay, lay on hands. How he is he's tied. The kill. I'm totally down. So he needs an Abdul. Beautiful. I'm going to 141%. One, the interaction will kill him. Oh, he gets back here. And he's dead. Dab secures the game. And you fall. So that Top bottom and that, that was the same rack. Top bottom and that, and it's still just best of three. Alright, grab the number at time. Okay, he's got Maybe for like two. He's back. Spy goes up. They're gonna go with Spy, too. This is not the one. Spy doesn't have to be a bad football. Let's play this. Brave courage. You're not about my father. Speaking like over to my sister's 
Just for lack of commentary, I'm feeling quite the headache, so probably won't be saying as much or sounding as excited. <clears throat> but it does look like Hot Lava is starting off quite well in this set. He does get the side smash and has quite a sizable lead. The things that Dad has to look out for is how to deal with its multi hits, especially that narrow because because Kit's mix-ups, he's a heavily fundies character. So he has to deal with the nair, he has to deal with the grabs, and a lot of it's just mix-ups. And it seems like Hot Lava has constantly gotten the better end of those mix-ups. Just cut the skill. But he does manage to come to the down tilt, the up smash. He's in Latin percent, he's still playing a fight, but he does get killed at 91%. Hot Lava, two socks ahead. And already only one minute and 40 seconds have passed. Hot Lava is playing like he is on Lava, but he does get the short break and takes him out in style. But it does seem like Hot Lava is doing quite well in neutral and still has the forward on it. This is one of Bob's weaknesses, there is no jump, he gets sniped, gets sniped again. Uh, and if he got that sniped, that Byleth would have been dead. Let's see. Hot Lava is playing extremely well. Dad will have to make a good amount of adjustments, especially to the edge guard phase and also how to approach and how to punish the pit there and winning on these kind of grabs. He makes he needs to do a lot more spot dodges. Does go off stage. Hot lava takes the center stage, is looking for the landing. He gets it, goes to it, gets the punish, and tries to read it. Tries to read again with the grab and he almost gets the read, but Dad manages to escape in time. Let's go for the safe side smash. It's a fast first option and it's relatively safe. Dab is trying to secure the stock, but Hot Lava lands the back air. Let's check out the bands. Pond Let's Nation Callus are often good cut stage to the band, but the big amount of space might be good for the pit. He bans Battlefield, and he bans PS2. Dab goes to Hall of Bastion, probably, because he's picked that. He's gonna pick that many a time. He does not. He goes to Carlos. He values that large amount of space that he can play with. And here we go. Violet versus Pit. Three, two, one, go! these grabs constantly chasing him, and he's constantly getting these reads. Constantly coming the options, he's not letting him up. Although he does miss on the dash attack, he has managed to get a good amount of percent. Dab though is playing much better around these nares. Although, Hot Lava is now adapting this by swing first. But the game looks a lot more even than the first one. So Dab is making good adjustments. Hold it, not hold it for that long. Pits down B is an incredible option. What he needs to do is to try and grab through it, I believe. But it looks like Hot Lava is taking the lead. It gets the grab, firing away these arrows, Dab expertly maneuvering through them. 
This is a dash attack. Gets the left tilt. And he goes for the mango. That is an is that a mango or the Mewtwo King angle? I'm the, or the Mewtwo angle. Either way, incredible recovery coming from Hot Lava. But he goes for another read. And he goes and tries to fight aggressively. But he takes first blood. Looks like the game is a lot more even. The hot lava takes the second stock. Dad is constantly having to play catch up, catch up, so he might need to make a stronger read or a much better read in order to get ahead of this game, get ahead of the set. And Hot Lava's momentum is quite high, and it's difficult to stop essentially a boulder running towards you, constantly applying pressure and getting that grab. Those burst options are difficult for him to deal with. Dab doesn't seem to have a great option or a great understanding of what he's actually supposed to do. And Hot Lava gets a down smash, takes him out. Hot Lava playing like he's hot like lava. Takes the game, takes the set, and a swift and easy clean 2-0. Oh. Okay, poaches, and I believe Dav goes down to losers. Let's <laughs> just hate that. We just stay in advantage, right? Keep all out here. Thank you. I'm very grateful. I appreciate it, Brian. You're just uh, you're chilling. I don't know. Well, you know, we're just close. Cool. You still are on the line. We just haven't been talking in a while, so just here, stop. I'm waiting. Playing bracket. Wait, so, okay. I don't know. Two more people. I was. She's on the Did they? Did they not? I I, I don't think it's like finalized on the themes. Okay. Yes. So I guess. Yeah, it's just not finalized. That was because uh, we played on this stage. Did they find two? Finalized. This place is this place in final? No, I think that's the No? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, okay. then I can't push you. Lost it there. Yeah. 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 I went 14 years here. It's like the mother just was holding. It was the best holiday that you can stand here on this thing. Oh, it's only my hand now. You lost one more hand. You lost one more hand. Sure. You went 9 and 4 and you went 9 and 4. No hands. Well, it's cool. Anyway. Well, I saw. I'm too loud to mark. Seriously? That's great. It's sad. But, uh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love him. So now we're just going to hang out, waiting. Oh, this is the wrong. Fire. Oh, it's going to 
going on to play with them. It's only if I make the winning slams, which is not going to be enough. Let's go. Yeah, the coach is the team. Probably in here. Go call. It's called the team. It was a fight. Oh. Yeah, no man. I come down to that. It's kind of bad for us. So much. Yeah. Why do you want to be next to that guy? Why? You know, Mr. Man Grabs, I'm going to talk about why he's done this. Well, I'm getting, I'm, I'm just surprised that the word air jumps inside me. Grabs? Yes. Or, so, uh, you should have done the nearest of the episode. The hair down there is very good. Sweet and always says something about the name of like an angel. He says it does. And when we have no men, is a good news. Yeah, good. I'm technically right for me. Why isn't that there? Well, because they need a final. Uh, oh, that's what this is. But I don't know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Well, I <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's so now my son's like, okay, so I'll just wait for, we have to wait for them to find a laser tumor. Can you just like that we can actually see on three finger on the Six finger high mass. I have this tool too. We'll do it after the fact. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm you have it, right? Just the one of the Extend out to another 
Uh, yeah, Alright, so we'll get to this matchup. Sonic versus uh, Pit, and uh, why are these characters... Oh, well, interesting. Well, it is Hot Lava versus... Uh, I'm not too sure who the Sonic players, but... I'm not too sure how this matchup goes, but I do not think that... Pit might do well into this kind of match. But it's also going to be difficult. It does have the multi hits to deal with the Sonic side B, and he also has projectiles and side B as well. However, edge guarding might be not very fun because Spring Size Pit has no hitbox on his side. Up B, Spring becomes a much more prevalent tool in this matchup. Yeah, as you can see, already those multi hits coming in, and that's uh, those projectiles. Hot Lava's doing a good job making sure he cannot land. This is it, and he gets punished. I lost. Okay. See, we're using the Nope, he just goes up to 40, and he secures the stock. But Hot Lava responds more immediately. Oh. Good play, he's just like Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man, you have the Oh, it's Orchid. Okay. Okay, well, that's Orchid. Alright, you're out, alright. Okay. Boom. Hot Lava. Seems to be keeping up quite well. He can secure that sock though. Trying to get the kill on Sonic is one of the more difficult things because this little blue bar, Fuzz, does not like to die. Okay. Gets the berry and kills him with the off smash. Well played from Orchid. There comes the Sonic Vortex. He's trying to look for these kills. He only gets the damage for it, but the kill is what matters. This person. But he does get the photo and he does secure the stock. He needs to win a couple more neutral opens, gets in there into ups at straight 25%. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
and good attempt, but Sonic side D seems to have broken through it. Uh oh, landing is a bit more difficult, but Orkin misses the punish on that. He gets another grab, gets a nice chase, gets the up smash. This is getting a close, this is becoming closer and closer and closer. This could be anyone's game. Whoever gets the next read or the next conversion could end up taking this. Hot Lava's playing well, getting all these grabs right, getting all these reads right, and he gets the limit of the size and he takes that first game against Orchid. Phenomenal from Hot Lava. He's sponsored by Sam's Club. Hot Lava is sponsored by Costco. All right, well, according to Mr. Nilo, Hot Lava is sponsored by Costco and Orchid sponsored by Sam's Club. You can add a sponsor. Where the heck is the mouse? Yeah, no, I think this is like a laptop that like, kills itself. Do you guys want to join commentary? No, where is the mouse? There. Yeah, it just rarely comes through. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, we got. Try something what do you want to try? Uh, what do you still look at? All right. Why is he supposed to play Sam's Club? Don't worry about it. He, he missed the apostrophe. <laughs> Me personally, I'm sponsored by Kirkland Signature. Wait. Yeah, yeah. They're just gonna end the broadcast. Stream? <laughs> yeah, end stream. What are you doing? You go on to yeah, okay, yeah, that's there. There you go. Okay. Well, sorry, fellas. We're gonna get back into the gameplay. And now he swaps back to the Falco. This matchup, I feel like, is probably even. But once again, this kind of relies on the edge guard phase, as Pit has no hitbox. Falco gets a lot more of the edge guards with the nair, with the ledge trapping. But Pit also seems to give Falco a hard time. Here comes the ledge trap, the most fun game of this game, must thing. And he gets the up top, but he, he goes for the up there and not the back air. Perhaps it was too high, but uh oh, he swings, but he goes safe, but he gets smacked in the back air. Only 30% bar kid. Not very happy that he does not seem like he enjoyed losing that game. So he starts off with a commanding lead, but hot lava not going out of the fight. Doesn't react in times of the Falco landing onto his shield. But, but, but Orchid, fantastic parry, gives him nearly 57%. He's still stuck in the Vortex. 64% off of just a one parry on the final of the up smash. Phenomenal combo and awareness from him. Uh-oh. It's up there. Hot Lava is stuck in this Vortex. Dobbins he was choosing are no longer working because the punish, but he does side smash the wrong way and he does get punished for it. Though, immediately retaliates back, gets the side beam to forward air. Can Hot Lava get it? But then he gets snared. Diving underneath, uh, diving underneath the pit down air or pit down because that area underneath him is vulnerable to attacks. And Orchid doing extremely well to exploit that. There comes the combo, 68%. Hot Lava still needs, his cat, still needs to get this kill, but it's getting hard because the Orchid is not giving up these, not giving these openings. But it might be able to get something like here. Gets the forward throw, and he does secure the stock. Is there a vending machine? Okay. Okay. Orchid takes the game quite dominantly. Huh? No, I know. I was just wondering if I should get some vending machines. What? I was wondering if I should have been looking at the machines. What's up in there? Yeah, what's up in there? Are there like egg rolls or sandwiches in there? Yeah, well. Alright, see ya. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me get it up there. 
Yeah. I miss the days of making top eight without wanting to hurt the HP. Like fighting to actually like get the fifth or third or fourth. Real man. As a both god. So no one makes top eight? Oh, I'm fighting out for god. I mean, the jumps. Is that not top eight? I don't think it's true. Oh. Oh, that's not my game. Oh. I have to be Darian. Oh, you must have had whoever we were Peach. Um, you gotta beat Nico or something. Which is not happening now. Nico has been following us all down. The last time we were in the middle of this. People have to be Why is this like being sword fight? It's like, okay, we're not playing the fucking game, but you should have seen it. I can't kill off. Did you have a color ring? That's why. That's good. The other third one. The other third one? It's like the first time. Like crazy. Little tree, all the things you have done. So, uh, Dingo, that was up to you. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Alright, can you take that? Good luck. That's the cool stuff. That's the stuff. Thanks for giving me one on Sonic, though. Hey, Dad, put in two one work it. Who wants to get that one? Yeah, I want to, uh, thank you. Like, so I'm just to see if we want to smash it. Sunshine, hot darling on stream. Oh, yeah, we play again. We play again, they go and turn to the other groups. Then we have a story that we can All right, I'm going to get this over with. Going there. Turn right, and then turn and it immediately turns Yeah. Down. I'm gonna see some like that. 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 I'm gonna see so, uh, otherwise, we're going to learn about you the trick. No one's fighting the loss. The test that starts to use engaging with the water. We'll solve it. We can solve it with the loss. Larry, you don't like you in the glass here. That's just my interest in the lab. Yeah, I'm not. That's good. It's not. Oh, if it's not working, disconnect and reconnect the uh, main menu. Let's go. Okay. 
All right, the full charge that I'm to move down. Ready? Still. 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 Still.
It's a close game. <clears throat> Nearly any move can kill, but Bowser's quite scary. And he gets a side B, and he should be dead. First game goes to iCarly. Well, check out these bands. Sunshine will probably stick out with the... Probably stick out with the pit. I doubt that he will swap to the Sora unless he does kill that he is threatened. But we'll see. Also... I need a swap. Yeah. Yep. So that is the tag that Sunshine uses whenever he's playing Sora. So it seems like he uh, does not want to lose. I don't know if iCarly will switch, and if he does, he might have to take out the Diddy Kong. Because I do not believe that Bowser Sora is a good matchup. There's a Sora. And then there's a Diddy Kong. So, and now we're getting into it. Now, I don't really know much about this matchup, nor do I know enough about Sora to comment on what Sunshine is doing. But I feel like this is going to be a lot more difficult for Diddy to deal with, because Diddy likes his care likes his opponents being on the ground. Sora's main game plan is usually always being in the air, so Banana is much less effective because in order to make use of it, you do have to follow up with the move afterwards instead of trying to land it. As you can see right there, misses. So it does provide some disruption, but I believe it is much less useful than if we're on the ground. And Sunshine catches Icarly at the very top of the stage, and Icarly swings preemptively. And now here comes the Sora combos. And Sal manages to find an opening within, and he misses the downer just barely. That would have been a crucial kill, but now he has to keep going through the ledge trap. And Sunshine manages to clip him on the end. Comes the damage. Nope. Because he's doing it again. Nah, he holds. He's afraid of the third shot that comes out from Sora. <clears throat> Sunshine is still surviving, still making. Still staying alive and barely dodging through. Throws up a side smash, anticipating the shield drop, and nearly kills Sal. Or kills him. But he does retell with the up smash out of shield and takes his stock. Yep. Twelve percent, one good conversion from the solar, and he's dead, like that. Sunshine is constantly looking for these landings and looking for these uh, silly air dodges where he can take full advantage of punishing them. But Aikari is making sure to put his hitboxes in those places to where he does not get hit or run over. But Sunshine seems to be on another 
Since you get stuck with head of where he's placing his hitboxes. The sunshine is going to where he thinks his opponents will be. See, and he gets the air dodge right there. He wants to freeze to see if he can follow it up. Now, let's see if the roll. He does not. Misses the side smash, it's scary. Then he gets the upper out of shield, but the Jin Kong is still alive. But one more of those, he will not live. Gets the freeze, and he gets the kill. 114% to zero. He needs one good conversion in order to kill the Sora, but so does Sunshine. And Sunshine just needs that up air, that back air, that forward air, that F tilt, just essentially anything. And he gets a down air, and let's see, can he do it again? And he barely misses. That would have been an insane comeback. And but now Sunshine is making sure he avoids that ledge. But iCarly is taking him further back. But here it comes. Does he get it? No, he does not get the air dodge. Hundred and forty two percent to fifty five. This is a close game. iCarly is making the right choices, making the right decisions, and he's just barely getting it, but Sunshine does get that up there and does take the stock. He clutches up and he takes it, going on to game three. Let's see with the bat. Come on, but it seems like he just went to town city. Seems like they're back in town. Didn't fall back into Sora. Let's see if iCarly has made adjustments to deal with the Sora. I don't have any ideas of what he could do. I'm just curious to see what he does choose to do. Because Sunshine's conversions, like right there, he missed one barely. But I assume it's more difficult to hit on Diddy Call. But he, is, he does have a good start. So I was making sure he does not get the Diddy Kong space in order to pull the banana. To avoid that all cost. But now he does have the banana, he wants to make sure he air cam it, but with that unsafe nair he does get punished and he takes 41% for it. Comes a ledge trap and you know Diddy Kong strong when he can even ledge trap Sora. Sunshine is doing well, I'm making sure this banana and he should get the kill. Gets the Oz and takes the first stock 61%. Only on him. Good counter. Because iCarly is constantly looking for these aggressive kills. Especially with the down air. Well, I kind of be able to take the stock, but... Sunshine has been able to do an extremely good job at recovering. But now comes the scary part. This is where Sunshine makes his money. To constantly make chips when his opponents make the slight impatient move because they want to get that kill. Sunshine's trying to chip as much as he can. Any side B, any hit of thunder, any freeze, any nair that he can get. And he gets the read, and he almost gets the conversion, but he barely misses that. Sal tries to get the read, but he misses, and he gets up smash for it. This is looking quite dire for iCarly, but he almost made the comeback the last match, so it is possible that he can do it again. So, didn't Sunshine win? Why does it say one iCarly? <laughs> Whatever. It's probably a mistake. Uh, he barely misses the conversion onto the platform. Could be a mistake. But I don't know if he died at 75 percent but it would be a good amount of damage. No more jump. The Kong is forced to go through. Barely misses the fireball. Barely misses the down air. Yeah, but it is looking quite bad for iCarly to get the kill. The Sora is still a couple more conversions away, whereas all the Sora needs is a nair into up air. Or he just needs just some nair conversion, I believe. But now it's looking like he can actually get this. 
And he gets the Z, he gets the um, Z drop into, uh, and he goes for a down air, and he tries to go for his third second down air. That's a classic Diddy Kong setup on you when you decide to DI in on the down throw. Sal knows that is the one way he can kill him, and he needs to rely on that. Because it's going to be harder and harder to kill Sunshine as the match goes on. But Sunshine does not want to get killed. Sunshine manages to call out the Bene and gets the upper and takes the game and set to all, I believe. That is super Bigger, it's scary. It's scary. It's weird. Yeah. Like, I kept wanting to do the but it didn't really matter because I put my Rock, what time are you at? So it's like, even though I'm running the game, so it's control, it didn't matter because I was putting myself off stage. So when I get the run back, I have a time as well. Like, so, this one is just. Because we're just thinking like, it's a little crazy. We're just dumb. They're trying to do something to me. And then by the time it came this other guy, I'm like, what am I doing? It's just doing this one thing. I and then it started working. Like, okay, I don't know why I'm an idiot. Wait for him to burn his level up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, it's just well, like, it's it was like, 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 like I should on a uh 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 uh
Do you know what's even funnier? Terry can also do there. And it's true. It doesn't kill. It does kill. That's not fair. And what happened? What? So, like, it kills on, like, if they're, like, really light, it will kill. Like, I mean, like, so you just hit the gas, man. Yeah. But when he's dead, finishing touch kills at zero, but right on the top of the roster. Well, yeah, but it kills Game and Watch at, like, like, 90 or something. Terrible. I actually crossed off. Well, so what are you gonna be landing on Game and Watch? Well, like if you hit the landing there. When are you ever going to be landing on Game? When it happens. Like you're not supposed to fix one, but if you if you get it, it's a confirmed that like if you hit it, then you go all. Yeah, that's what I was saying. 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 Yeah, because it's not like boxes, because it doesn't like send them to the ground. Yeah, it's like pops on that floor. Boxes like I'm not even sure. Can we disagree? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm How do I load a game? What the frick happened to this thing? Oh, I got 
<laughs> but I should say that on the stream. These are two of my best friends. I want to watch them tear each other apart. Heck yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, they're picking their character, so... I have no clue who this mic is, so hopefully it picks up both. Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you plan on staying on comms? Not staying on comms. I you just want, yeah, I just want to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe I'll... Actually, no, I have that. If you do, you can add yourself to the list of comments. Actually, I could temporarily do that. But it's... It's just uh, it's commentary. Commentary has. Yes. Uh, scroll down. Yep, there it is. Damn it, Jesse. Location: Allen Island. Already be there. Sweet. Boom. Boom. Because that brings your bracket data that. Uh, yeah, that's all you need. That's all you need to play. This data we. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, who's my sponsor? Oh yeah, watch your sponsor, brother. Guys, if you want sponsors, then you can. Okay. Okay. Well, for me, uh, I'm gonna play. Okay. Alright, I'll in. Yeah, talking about it. You could make it one word. It works, so. Oh, You do that. This is so low. Yeah, it disappeared, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not from Algeria. Poggers. Oh, huge. <laughs> yeah, feel free. What? And my sponsor died. <laughs> Scrolls through real quick. No, okay, Rob will do that. Rob can kill you almost anywhere on the stage. Frame 3 down so can carry you across the stage. Gy like, Nair to Gyro is just a... It kills you at 40? Oh, wait, they're playing, they're playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Right, here it comes. Uh, if Spider-Man 2 loses this, yeah, I, I don't know what the heck he's smoking. So... <laughs> Dang, okay. Like, I mean, bro, this is a piranha plan, bro. Yeah, no, I... I love them both dearly, but yeah, this, this is a free game for Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Like, unless he makes Terry look like a mid-tier. Okay, that SDI, but that, the Piranha Plant still sucks so much, it doesn't even matter! Man, you're the number one Piranha Plant hater. I mean, yeah, I, I love making fun of the character. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that neutral thing there? That was crazy. So, let's see. They try to go for the side smash. It's basically safe on block, wow. especially against Brawn points out of shield. And he does it again. Off direction, trying to oh, side smash. Attack. Yeah, trying to side smash spider. Oh, it's cast the game. And he gets a down from the side there. So let's see here. Hmm. How does he get a lot of shot? Oh, tries to go for the map nice. and he gets punished for it. Does he, he get actually it? commentate? Like, you speak so well and can convey what's happening. No, like, wow, that guy hit that guy. Ooh. Oh, big goes, miss. Yeah, Ooh. a humongous miss, but can't get punished for it because Brawn points way too slow to go for it. But. Yep. Nice. Oh, with the Star KO. Wow. 90%. That's so no, huge. No go for Terry. And he's, he, he, you're correct. It is such a big up to Ooh, but that's that's so, oh, He does oh. out of it. And he's able to survive. Wait, could this be actually a Piranha Plant game? Piranha Plant dub? And he missed Ooh, the out of shield, but he missed Ooh. the grab. Accidentally spot dodge attack there. Ooh. We know that if 
Spider-Man 2 is not hitting his follow ups Yeah, as Spider-Man 2 does touch Nilo's shield, we do know that Nilo does prefer the trying jab out because Piranha Pine's jab is actually really quick. It's frame 2. Frame 2, wow. That's like Aegis. Yeah. <laughs> So it is his most preferred option, especially yeah. if he has Piper. Nilo's but playing now, really patiently right yep, now. He's charging up that option. Ooh, because Fire Man 2 is desperate for that kill, and desperation causes impatience. Ooh. And he just okay. in. Big die, but... 41%, yeah. 202% death. That is yeah. humongous. Ooh, big, big Fatui. Mm -hmm. so, Nilo is really doing things. Yep, Nilo is playing this correctly. He is never approaching. Yeah. He's making sure that... The Terry that Spider-Man 2 throws himself at him and he punish, punishes him accordingly. Like this, Ooh. but he did get the opportunity to try and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Man, the ledge trapping. Okay. He's oh yep. and back now, out there. Here comes the difficulty. Spider-Man 2 has found his way in. Ooh. And now the percent oh, has been equalized. Even but now. Uh, because Piranha Pine is so heavy, Spider-Man 2 will need to do a lot more than just the The now trade, go, but now he has go. Now he has go, and now he has to make good use of this. Yeah. If he doesn't, it's going to be a lot more difficult to kill, because you know Nyla will yeah. take it. And well, Nyla's playing play. very patiently right now, because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to get hit by yep. one thing and die at 80. Because yep. we all know that's something Terry can do. Yep. Oof. Do we didn't connect? And we can also not oh, big down B. Mm-hmm. Because Nilo really he's loves running straight in, he doesn't want to jump, he wants to turn it. Ooh. And he does get the grab, he goes for the up throw, doesn't kill just yeah. yet. But he's now in the more tries to landing. Almost. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. One more up throw and Terry's gone. Yep. But and can... now, here comes a humongous reversal opportunity, or just death. That's oh, huge, yeah, that's he gets that, the punish, that, and he's okay. dead! This actually might be Nilo's game! Uh-huh. Nilo, once again, still in the lead. If he can make it once again to a higher percent without getting killed, yeah. it's just, super If he can just man. hold out for a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice he gets jab. jab off the, yeah, he gets the jab so now off. he gets to get back to stage. Yeah, and, and the dash attack, dash game attack, chase. Yeah, yeah now the stage is Nilo. And, and you can see, he's not approaching him. Ooh, air dodge is air dodge. dodge. He's actually playing this really well. Mm -hmm. He's doing incredibly well. Because he knows his condition. He gets caught, but he doesn't get caught. Doesn't kill. But is one heavy boy. Oh, plant is a heavy. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's no, he's not the He's looking for that jump. Ooh, but the back here gets him. He does get that back and he does clip him. And now Nyla right. drifting through his music. He's got to make sure he's listening to his tunes. Got to get pumped up in order to uh -oh. take his stock. But oh, wow. wow. <laughs> you can't do your carry. <laughs> but now it's equalized. He goes for it and misses the conversion. And now Nyla goes for it. <laughs> Good defense That's from Terry. Insanely good die. Try to get the reach. Oh um, Spider-Man 2. Nilo almost taking that. I would like to point out that uh, Spider-Man 2 just called out Nilo for circle camping on PS2. <laughs> which, honestly, yeah. Yeah, you should, bro. Yeah. I, yeah. And, like, that was actually, like, Nilo was playing really well there. The difference is... Well, yeah. Bro, your character. Spider Man is tilted. Exactly, and he's complaining about his character, even though yeah. Punter Plant is down is like three whole tiers. Spider is like bottom five character, I think. I don't know. He's, he's not bad. good. He's saying that Punter Plant is fun. He's saying that Circle Camping is annoying weapons. Yeah, 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 that's true. You're, you're right. I agree, I agree. He's just not fun. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, unfortunately, it's how Smash B. Because that's like the only way the Punter Plant. Yeah. yeah. But no, that's good on Nile. That's good on Sp uh, Geek Arts for having insane. Yeah. Ooh, he's making a V Sword Fighter. <laughs> I don't know why, but Nathan Nilo really just loves choosing like F tier characters. Yep, and I, I don't think little... that this V Sword Fighter is the correct play here. All right, guys. Um, if You know, I wish I knew how to edit because I would totally put like subway surfers on right now <laughs> like it's True. gonna be a long one guys since all of you are uh, probably adhd ridden like all of us uh we're gonna put uh subway surfers clash of clans minecraft speed runs yep. and, yeah and so you guys can watch that yeah not really we don't have access to speed yeah wait actually if we, hang on can we get it to um, to face us yeah to face us yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like this. Oh my gosh, it's me! Indeed. Look, I'm yeah. screen. You can't even see me because I'm covered by three black bars. Let's go. I'm the main character. That's because he's white. Okay, man. You said it, not. I know. I could say that because I'm not. Yeah. Well. Oh, are they starting? No, they're picking characters. Oh, what the heck is up on Strosny? Where am I? 
Hang on, guys. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We'll go back to comms, okay? Lock these yeah, comms. Because yeah. they're still picking. Probably. we will switch over. Maybe. Do you guys want to watch circle camping? We don't, but we're forced to commentate. I'm not forced here. I'm not True. It's not somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> We need it. We need it. Wait, 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 there you go! There you go! <laughs> Dude, why did he say that not in my 1 2 0? Oh? What is it? <laughs> what? We can fix that. We can fix this. No, 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 no. I don't think we need to. The sanctity of the stream is above all else. Yeah, but it says that what? Yeah, exactly. Wait. Yeah, yeah, but it says two over there. Dab. Such a tragedy. Oh, he's playing doubles. Hey, Dab. Dab. Oh, it's, oh, it's saying two all Nilo, even though. This thing says one. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Wait, I give it a second to reload. Okay. Oh, I should just. I should... <laughs> uh, do we have to like? Okay. More update? Yeah, but uh, Spider-Man won one game so far. No report day. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, Nico's showing everyone something critical to this uh, gameplay. Uh, All right. One sec. I'm let's see. Going. Let's see. Okay, do your against All right, chat. Great. Nico. That's all. The, the, the joke is that he says vape Nick, then he says suck dick, which is pretty funny. We can't say that. This is a BYU stream. You're getting banned. Bye, I'm losing my scholarship, guy. <laughs> True. There's okay. Guys, what is I mean, this? To Idaho. Hey, yo, what's this, brothers? What the heck? Yeah. All right, so uh, we get the Spider-Man ding ding ding. Yeah. And then uh. Change tag to Vape Nick. It changes tag to Vape Nick. So, should we change it on stream though? Is what I'm saying. Uh. Nah, we'll just keep it, bro. Well. Interesting. So I'm pretty sure this is a terrible matchup for DDD, and I feel like we <laughs> can't send a. Guys, we are going to time. Okay, y'all, oh, have six more minutes! <laughs> I'm just saying, Nathan has... Er, sorry, chat. Nilo, he has the percent lead. So theoretically, this doesn't approach for the next seven minutes. Any kind of, like, quick, fast projectile he can spam? His headphones in. He is, like, really bad for DDD, because that means he cannot use his Gordos. Which is the most fun part about DDD, that you can't even use because it just gets hit back by a shuriken. Uh, did you know that shuriken actually gets stronger the further out it get goes? Huh, I did not actually know that. Yeah, so it actually encourages you to camp. Sick. Wait, this can't- Oh my no. goodness, that's, that's a combo! Confirm. That's a combo?! That's a thing, no. Bro, who plays this character, man? Uh, Nilo. He, he yeah, I guess so, he does. I mean, okay, he goes for the crazy combo. Okay, 30%. Nathan, don't overextend. You have the stock lead. We know. Uh, okay, camp, no camp, 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 camp him! Camp him! Do what you did last game. And the Spider Man's gotta give him a DDD. Will, Ni will Nilo get DDD leaded? Also, did you know that, like, DDD has a confirm where you suck someone up and then you up tilt them when they come out? Wait, that's actually crazy. Yeah, it's apparently not sure uh, they can air dodge. Uh, and Nico's getting down. Yeah. Nico's Spider Man too, by the way. Yeah. Oh crap, I doxed them. Chat them. Mods, cut that. You got a, a lot of stuff on a block, dude. Yeah, oh shoot, I, I also got D, yeah, my bad. Ah, I'm jealous. Guys, <laughs> it's over. Yeah, true, it's over. Maybe like ninjas are gonna get me. True, true, true. Also, I'm just saying, Nilo is folding this DDD. I, I'm pretty sure that like, 
If we look at like the, the end of the screen of like how many special moves. Don't, okay, the one thing you do not do in that situation, roll. Because he can react to that and punch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. He is pressing B. Take a, take a shot. I roll my kind of shot. Y'all make the choice. But how many times Nidal has pressed B? Yeah. If someone in chat can just go back, like, kick numbers, you know? Could feel me? Mm -hmm. This is what we call peak gameplay. Yep. You see, uh, Vape Nick is playing this little game called Undertale. Because he's in a bullet. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a bullet hack. There we go, yep. Yep. <laughs> Keeping my scholarship tonight, boys. Yes, yeah. sir! I think the shotgun's kind of crazy because, like, it multi hits. Yeah, and theoretically, you could get, like. Yeah, it combos, yeah. If you slow it, like, you could get, like, an S smash off that. It also, it's like a frame trap because, uh, since it stays out and hits your shield, mm -hmm. you can kind of it. Then yeah. you just get, like, bonk bonk. Uh huh, but you're just kind of forced to say that. It's more like a really crappy pirate side beam. Yeah, because it's on me, Sword Fighter. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Do not DI in there, and that is one game for Nathan Night uh -huh. Dog. Gang I dox him again. Night yeah. All right, seems like they're accusing each other of hate speech. He's telling me that my whole family should die. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So they said, and I quote, his family should be something in game. What do you need to turn on the comms? What are you trying to turn on? Meantime comms. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm still going up. Oh my gosh, it's us. Hey, guys. Yes. Hello. We're probably going to hit for a doozy because these two are probably going to Mickey Mouse their characters once again. So, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. These are yeah. the kids. Yeah. <laughs> They're in Disneyland. Yeah. I'm, I'm, say when? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, actually. Um, we'll see. All right, I'm trying to look over to their screen right now. Okay, wait, they actually might be doing stuff, so we're going to switch back over. To the gameplay, right, right, right. Okay, never mind, they're, they're, they're going back to okay. playing seriously once again. Uh, they're actually playing the game now? Like... Now they're playing, but now it's actually winnable for all They have reverted to their original forms. Yeah. Oh, and they're on Smashville. And now Smashville. I think this is a really good stage for Terry. Just... I agree, because this means there's less space for Circle. And it's already, it's... Nice. It's not a humongous lead. to throwing? Man is 15 losing to Wayne. He's 16. What the frick? Okay, well, now it's 16. So this still counts as a quite a big upset. Yeah. I agree. Let's see. Will Spider Man clutch it or Honestly, will he it, end up it losing? Nalo just plays patient. Like, he has the game in the bag. Uh huh. Because he has 6 minutes and 30 seconds to work with. Now, of course, he can't run away efficiently. And it is on Smashville, Smashville, which isn't a big stage. But he can out. still. Just circle camp because yeah. he knows if he just like beats out his op uh, uh, that's Spider Man's it. options. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. he's already at 100. Because Terry only has a couple of burst options rather, his crack shoot, down B, Ooh. side B, and Misses up the goal input there. Can still be beaten if you just Smash decide players to play right? True. I play Guilty Gears. Oh, the back here. Oh, okay, Nilo just needs Nilo one more stock in order to defeat Spider Man. He's gonna be like, uh, is there any time that Spider-Man lost in the comics? Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, Venom at some point, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Did this plant is Venom. Yep. Sorry, man. Oh, there's a lot of characters named Venom now that I think about it. There's, yeah. like, the, the one stage from Star Fox. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's someone in, uh, uh, Metal Gear. Yep. There's also someone in, uh, Guilty Gear named Venom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Nilo's looking for the finisher with the... With the anyway, yeah, this plant is photosynthesizing all over Terry Bogart. Mm -hmm. You see what the issue here is that everyone wants to hold that center stage. So everyone's going to be holding in and air dodging towards the center. Yeah, I don't a lot of percent because he kept constantly getting in. You can see right there, they keep air dodging in. Smash. Doesn't kill just yet. Good move like that, the and toss, it's over. And he might, yeah, he doesn't go straight in. Gets a dash attack. So that Five. Ooh, just a roll. Okay. Oh, 110%. Turn Tyler on needs up. one good hit. One side touch, one back, or one off touch. Maybe a two in. And he can take. Nilo. But Nilo. Do I be giving this up? 49%. He needs one more, but he's at 131. Can Nilo finish this? Needs that. Come on. But he gets the correct way on the deck, on the gap attack. Gets it. Oh, oh, no, this is. Gets it. Oh, no. Does not kill. Oh, 
He goes for the three. Throws it. Doesn't just. He doesn't die just yet. Tries to pull it. Gets it. Yes. It's it. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. You see that? You see how I call it like Spider Man 2? I put both of them there. That's important. <laughs> anyway, chat, I have calc, or not calc, uh, homework to do for stats, statistics. Yup. Uh, I'm going to excommunicate myself from this stream. Wait, is that it? Here we go. What's up? Hi. Normal part of the year. Farewell. He's yeah. out. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised when the songs go. But the thing is, yeah. Oh, I was. Oh. I apologize for being late to the party, but it seems like sometimes the show is in the two go with the pit, not opting to choose the sword just yet, and maybe until he goes down. Did you go? Yeah, we're doing our switch, uh, did he see drink? Okay, okay, okay. I, I thought you were like, you just like, stomp right. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Connect away, and uh, Sunshine has lost his first stock. Well, it seems like he's getting constantly vortexed by the Falco, and, uh, well... I don't know how he's supposed to get out. So, we'll see how Sunshine chooses to adapt around this. So Sunshine does look for those openings that players give, but does it not look like Market is giving him that opening until right there. Let's see if Sunshine can make most off of that. But he does miss the outsmash, and he, he does get the burst dash attack. Sitting back on stage, but Orchid smartly decides off to go high. Good roll. And now here comes the here comes the combo setup. Now, yeah. all right. Well, anyone who wants to actually learn this game, pay attention to the Falco edge guards. He's very patient. I like it. Mm -hmm. not me. Yep, Orca does not give. The, except he did drop shit right there, giving Sunshine the stock. However, Sunshine still has a lot more to try and catch up on. 
It's like an up tilt away, right? Like everything does it here. Even a raw back air probably kills at this point. Yep. And that's why Sunshine has to play very carefully to make sure, but he does catch it. And Sunshine is now catching on to Orchid's recovery patterns. And that's a very, very crucial thing we have to figure out for the Falco players. I wonder if uh, Orchid's going to catch on to the uh, the arrows to make recovery more, more easy for him. And Sunshine once again gets another side B kill. Even though he was down so much, he managed to take these two socks in a blink of an eye. I'm so good at kill thing. It's, it's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Sunshine has managed to find those weaknesses and those habits of his opponent. So you can hold back to avoid getting hit by the laser at high percents. But just so you know, folks, if Falco up throws you past like, I don't know, like 140 or something, it, the, the laser doesn't actually combo because they made the character kind of weird. Uh, if you just hold back, um, it almost always misses. Even Bowser, the biggest characters, like they don't, they don't get hit by it. Sunshine has managed to get it, but he cannot tech that and now it's even. This is one Falco combo away, but this is also one Sunshine Edge Guard away from. It's a great example game. of like that. Um... Uh, this is best of five. Okay, well, this is best of five. Right. Uh, I probably need to change that. I think this is a great example of like what is better, neutral or punish. It's true having good neutral is great, but here because Falco can just hit you once and get you to kill percent, he's still in the game. Grant, he can't take too many more forward throws at that ledge. Oh, that was a two fifteen thousand smash. Oh, that's it. Sunshine gets the back air, taking the first game. Mind you, this is best out of five, and uh, we will have to change to reflect that. How? What the frick? All right, best out of five. And they just chose to go straight to battlefield. What's up, Ray? How's commentary? Uh, I almost like passed out because of like dehydration, bro. Dude, I didn't realize. No, I now understand why people take so many breaks during commentary, like during like sets. There's no breaks, right? You just you keep, like while you're commentating. There's no like mental. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I meant there's like there's during no sets. Up. I meant like during sets. CC's Pizza, best pizza buffet. Opinions. I I don't think so. I I don't I don't like. CC's. I've never even eaten there. I've had CC's once. It was extremely mid, but I believe it was because of the place I went to wasn't high quality. Did you did you have the like the cinnamon roll? Oh, the down there no. not sweet spotting again. The last time I've been to CC's was like seven years ago. Okay, check this out. Check this out. You gotta go. First first plate. Four cinnamon rolls. Second place. Smartly aired on. Four cinnamon rolls. Bro, Third, it's, a, it's a place where we're eating Third cinnamon place. rolls. That that's is what, a little weird. That's what we're doing, man. That's what we're doing. What? Four cinnamon rolls. Four. Plate five. <laughs> plate five. Caesar salad. <laughs> a Caesar salad. You know, oh God, I... Then you sit in the back in the arcade so they won't harass you to leave. Drink some water. Use the bathroom. Plate six. Cheese sticks. Marinara. Bro, oh, I, I went to a pizza place to eat pizza, not cinnamon rolls. Although it's also. Like, had a, a cinnamon roll like at the end. Like, yeah, it makes sense. But bro, like five plates of cinnamon rolls. <laughs> you guys have never, you guys, you have never had CC cinnamon rolls. So you guys well, don't know. I'm a, I'm a buffet guy. I'm from Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a buffet guy as well. You know, I know buffet. No, no, but you haven't had a CC cinnamon roll. The problem is, I, I like meat protein more than I like sweets. Yeah, exactly. So I, I mean, that's just an Asian I'm, thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, right. eggs, I'm an eggs, eggs and sausage breakfast man myself, but I go to CC's. Right, maybe, maybe steam in place. Okay, it's pretty even. Pretty even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Chat really likes it. Bro. Oh my gosh, and he gets a down. Get the down. Get the down. Get the down. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I bet there's. I wonder what's he thinking about. CC cinnamon roll. I don't think he is, brother. I think Sunshine's thinking about Final Smash confirms. I think he's thinking about how to not get up tilted by the ball go. That's the, that's the question. Problem, the problem with my character, he's so big that if I, if I just get a little bit worn down, I start getting coked, and it's sad. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, it seems like sometimes has figured out the recovery patterns. And oh, man, I don't want to play Falco again in Losers. <laughs> but I'm so crusty right now. All right, we'll see. Just play better. Yeah, right. right. I mean, I did go to game five. That's true, that's true. So, I, I don't feel that. Okay, and that DI on the up there, and now it's That was a questionable DI, I agree. It's a dead even game. Honestly, maybe this game will probably be determined by whoever gets, like, this opening on the edge guard right here. It's like a fun match. And this should be. Oh, this is very okay. Fun. And he does miss the down air, giving oh, him some. Down like, air. Oh. And here comes that combo. This is the thing. 
kind of wondering if it's if it's even worth it to go for like two frames against Falco. Like either straight up edge guard him or just get ready to ledge trap. Because if you let Falco burst you off the ledge, you will burn him. I think something that's also like really interesting to note is that when Sunshine's guard again comboed, he immediately air dodged straight to ledge so he could reset the situation. Right, right. I mean, at least get some invincibility, but. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's better just either like you know you have the edge guard set up and you have time or you just back off and get ready to like cover ledge options right yeah that's what i think uh oh okay yep here comes that back air and now here comes the jump and now he does tech it dude that was a great and, oh he misses the full hot back air that could have been the game right there getting hit by falco side be such a bad feeling yeah, I know. It's so dumb when it happens. Toes go for the down it, down smash. Oh, this is dangerous. It is dangerous, but goes to cast kill. Goes straight for the oh, first cast and he what? gets the kill. What Surprising the kill? him and his DI. Sunshine takes the second game. All right, well, it was it was really close. This is this is not like, this is not like, oh, well, shake my hand territory. I, this is definitely doable. Yep. I've seen greater comebacks. Mm-hmm. And they're still opting for the same characters. Uh, what I like about Falco, I guess one thing I like about Falco here is that he, his vertical movement is so insane because his jump is so high that uh, he can he can fight Pit in a very unique way. Both people can't like dominate like all vertical aspects of the game that way. So I'm, I'm interested to see how he uses that this next match. You know, especially since Pit always loves being there, and both these characters love using their aerials. Okay, okay, Pit. Controlling space in there. Oh, that was a really beautiful, like, hold back. Oh. See, he does the instant double jump in order to get that up and the set up. Falcos I've seen in a while, too. Like, he, he, look at that, 78%, no chance to escape. That was really good. That's what you want to see as Falco. Right? We're not here to play neutral, boys. But Sunshine is here to play neutral because he is slowly fighting his way back, coming back up, and now it's even. Yeah, that's true. Falco's disadvantage is kind of rough. Being a fastballer is both such a blessing and a curse in fact. D-I-N into the back air. I think that's D-I-N. I don't think that's true, yeah. I think I think he yeah. D-I'd in. Granted, I'm not a pick guy, so maybe maybe I'm wrong. And he does get the straight smash. Sometimes, sometimes revert to caveman works. Okay, okay. Oh, it does make sense because Sunshine often does like trying to find off of ledge before an air and air. I think Sunshine waited there because he didn't want to get reversal, right? Because it's still too even for him to go going for risks like that. Now look, he's doing pretty well. Side B's laggy. There you go. He just takes those like easy follow-ups, that easy openings that he can grab. I, I wonder if Orchid picked Battlefield because of that interaction I saw, like the arrow just like was blocked on the platform. Maybe he just needs some cover. I think he picked the Battlefield because of the combo opportunity that Falco gets with it. That's true, I guess. I mean, because if you're playing center stage normally, if Falco gets an up throw underneath, mm. that's dangerous. Those platforms add to a lot more, especially at the top platform. We can go for perhaps a cheeky up air, up tilt to up air, or perhaps an up tilt to down air into up smash. Right. I mean, maybe, but it's just like Sunshine's not really getting hit by anything. Correct, so the counter pick is not working because he's not getting those openings. But if he were to, it would be a good counter pick. The Sunshine is also making good use of these platforms as well. Okay, up there. I wonder if a falling up there would have done some more. It's fine. He's got a full stock to play with. Yep, and Sunshine keeps getting these grabs and keeps getting these dash attacks. Okay. Well, there it looks like he's dead. That's another down throw to back air. Sunshine takes the set through well. Is that down throw to back air? Like, true? Is that like a 50 50? Yeah. It's just true. Yeah. Wait, was that on DL? Was that down up to the wall? Yeah, I don't know, no, buddy. Because it's just like instant marks. It's a I don't need a run. So if you play, it's different. Reactions. So by increasing the IO, okay? You're not a person. Okay. Now you feel like that. 
I should probably upload the correct match into this. Uh, this is loser's quarter final. I mean, that makes sense. Because you're watching by yourself and you're watching. <laughs> okay, well, let's get into this. So it is uh, iCarly versus Spider Man 2, and I need to swap their perspectives. Um. I feel like when it comes to this matchup, Diddy Kong does extremely well into the fighting game characters because Banana is a very strong tool into all of them. Because they don't really have the ability to deal with that and get stopped. All the most of those softens will get stopped by that Banana. I believe in this crack shoot fully goes through. Now that he has, now that Terry has go, let's see, the roll was really good that they got past the side B, but let's see how he's able to get, to actually make use of his go. And right there, he missed it. He almost gets a short break setup, but then he barely manages to do so. And he tries to get the side B, they like the show, but I currently already anticipated that he decided to go for a roll anyways. But, and Spider-Man 2 was way too antsy to try and make use of his go, and he gets punished harshly for that. Some, in some matchups, he feels... He misses the nair down at conversion, and now it's going to be kind of scary. But he does get the down tilt into side B. I forgot. Uh-oh, it looks like he did not as the... That was a very scary moment where it could. But now it comes the down air. He does mess it up accidentally double jumping instead of uh, just, instead of just doing a full hop. So man is still looking for this kill, holding his jab, is looking for down tilt, looking for power dunk. And he does get it, but he does... He screws up the input, but he does manage to get it. Finishing it off. And you can hear him. He says he messes it up, so. But it's good that he did manage to get this. He goes for the landing side smash, perhaps anticipating a roll across just to he miss input. Yeah, that banana into the monkey flip is a really strong option because the banana just constantly causes the trip. He does get the Z drop in the downer. He nearly stays in stock and narrow wheels back. He knows he shouldn't have gotten hit by that, but let's see if he can avoid getting hit. 
Was it Crack Knuckle? No, it's not. I don't know what it's called. Probably should look for this. Hmm. And now it's now playing this chase game over the Diddy is gonna be constantly putting a little bit forcing the Terry to approach. But the Diddy Kong does SD and this is a nice breath of fresh air for uh Spider-Man 2. Play. I have my own character. Okay. Uh, I forgot what this thing's called. Whatever. Hold on. Dude, I should know what his side view is. <laughs> oh, burning knuckle, I'm trolling. <clears throat> but, uh, sorry. Do not, was not paying attention. The game looks rather even. Um, the Diddy Kong does need a good couple more conversions. The Terry needs a, a like down soul to burning knuckle in order to action firm. And he's getting close to go percent. He needs to make sure that he does take a couple of hits, but not bad ones. So he can make use of this. Make use of it. If you get the yeah, eye, now he has go. And now, no jump. This is kind of scary. And he does get it, but it does not get all the full hits, so he's not fully launched up. But now, he's off stage, and this is a scary moment. Spider-Man 2, does he make the right decision? He does go through, gets the grab, gets the throw. So it throws him off stage, and let's see. Tries to cover the options, but let's see how the monkey... And he gets punished for it. He does not hit the, the power dunk on the shield, and he gets punished for it with the banana. So... So, like... So like these guys are not doing any picks or bands, they just went straight to a small battlefield. And they're still going the same characters. Wait, is this the side of five? I call it versus my own? Oh, I meant is the best side of five. Is the best side of five? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. Because yeah. I saw that, and I didn't know if they. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, square me more. Lose the square there for no. Okay. Well. Oh. Looks like Spider-Man Two once again onto the back burner. What? Well, I. Well, it updates, but I don't think they use the interface, so we're probably just gonna do the plus one to iCarly, but. Uh, I'm not too entirely sure. Does get the up smash and Spider-Man 2. Only 54%, no go. It's going to be rather difficult. Gets the floor there. And Icarly is looking for these kind of quick kill confirms with the nair into down air. You can see him looking for that. Spider-Man 2, however, is managing to constantly catch up to him. His movement has been extremely good. He's managed to clean up this deficit, but now he's taking damage. <clears throat> Let's go for it now. Goes, and he gets down throw, down air. He's holding straight in, and he pays it dearly for it. Because the down that was an insane knockback angle, but he's still alive. And now the monkey is going on a trip. And he does, and uh, Spider-Man 2 does find the down tilt into Burning Knuckle. Oh, but iCarly is hunting. But so is, so is Spider-Man 2. Gets the banana, he needs to make more use out of it. It's even, but, but iCarly is an entire stock of head. And then he's just get and Spider-Man 2 is constantly getting hit and hit. The way he could probably make this back is if he gets his go. But by then it might be too late. Because he does have to try and take the stock as fast as he can and then use the go. Try to use the go later on. And as you can see, he's looking for these nairs because he's trying to set up into either a nair down air, an air up smash, a nair back air, anything to try and get a kill. Anything that could set up into that. And because the move is fast and relatively quick, he can make use of it. Like right here. And the Dicon holds in barely avoiding barely avoiding the power geyser. But Spider-Man 2 does get the Buster Wolf. And now he has the go. And this is where he needs to make this go count. 
Will he? But no, he rolls in, gets to the midnight, and gets a side smash. Game two goes to iCarly. No, it's game it's five. Best out of five. Best of five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it's also just a broken new buffer cloud. So, I don't know. Oh no, like, yeah, they're waiting on you guys. Yeah. Uh, well, I should probably manually update because I don't think they're using the tablet. But I probably is up to. Oh, he needs one more game under Securitas, and let's see if Spider Man 2 can come up with a response in this next game. Game 3 Spider-Man 2, never heard of it, but who says it doesn't happen? He does get the quick down throw combo to Nair Buster, or Nair Burning Knuckle. And now he's also trying to look for that quick kill, Nair into down air. Try and see if he can secure that lead. <clears throat> so it seems like iCarly still does need to find his footing within this, but he does try and get something, but he gets punished for it. <clears throat> Spider-Man 2, waiting, and he's doing well in that. He's adapted a lot more Nair, a lot more downer, and a lot more core jumping into his kit, into his gameplay now. It's easy working. However, he does need to work on his. Um, he does need to work more on his disadvantage, but he does fight his way back on. Diddy Kong's at 150, basically anything will kill. A single jab, side smash, and he takes that. It's only 66% on him. This next stock will matter the most, because after this, he still has Go to work with. So if he gets more percent on the Diddy Kong, then he'll be able... Then he'll be able to, uh, to completely make his lead farther. Completely further his lead. But now here comes the issue with Terry, is that he has to figure out how to land. Diddy Kong has banana or to cover those landings, and Diddy Kong has a really good forward air that reaches far. Terry doesn't have a really strong landing options outside, but, however, Spider-Man does get the Buster Wolf. That's a good amount of percent, 40%. He catches the Z-drop down, Z-drop banana, and doesn't immediately dive for it. And now he's looking for it, but... Um, I call it knowing that he just up smashes straight through and he gets the confirm into Buster Wolf and he takes it. He's at 140%, 140% with Go and uh, Diddy Kong is on his final side, but he does get the side smash and the final hit manages to connect. Spider Man 2, normal Go, but he is an entire stock ahead and that means that he has a lot to work with. I have to make sure that he stays patient and doesn't. Or doesn't <clears throat> give himself clear openings because even though he may want to close the stock, may want to finish this to try and get start um, um, working towards that three that reverse 3 0, he needs to remember that he needs to stay confident and stay slow because Diddy will punish you if you decide to make these uh, these careless mistakes because <clears throat> every hit from Diddy hurts more and more and more, especially as he tries to land. So that seems to be the most of all. See, he tries to air dodge in and he gets punished for it. Now that stock has nearly completely disappeared. This is essentially two more Diddy interactions. Is that the all they want to do is reach that center stage. But that's also, the opponent also knows that. Hmm. So they just wait to see if you do, if they do a careless lazy option, which is just simply air dodge again. But Spider-Man needs more down tilt, needs more jab. There's a banana. And he gets the anti-air. And he takes the stock. Game 3 goes to Spider-Man 2. <laughs> and you may have heard them on the mic. They say that to run it back. <laughs> Can Spider-Man 2 take this momentum and only carry out the 3, the Rishua, or will he fall here in Game 4? Because iCarly now knows what to look for, especially in those panic options of Spider-Man 2. Here comes, gets a down air, but he holds in and makes sure he does not immediately die to that, thus saving himself from a really early stock lead. Spider-Man 2, his conversions are working well. well <clears throat> and he's catching all of the defensive options that Arkali is going for. And he gets it, the down tilt to grab, catching him on the shield, to where essentially he makes it to where, what can he do that is safe. <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah, Killer is now starting to fight back. <clears throat> now he has to cover these options, but he misses the floor there. And Spider-Man 2 calls out the jump out of shield and gets the up smash. A really good stock, only 88%, but now he has to take on how he's to survive this ledge trap. He has going. If he manages to make it out, he can make good use. He gets one. That's a buster roll. That's 28%. A couple more of these, 40%, 10 more percent, 20 more percent. Now it's going to be stuck into the co percent. But this disadvantage say, will, will iCarly be able to find it? He does. And he goes for the wait instead of the instant follow up with the back air. And that might cost him dearly because he gets a jab jab power dunk. One more conversion should finish off of iCarly. Once again, that downs on the grab incoming. And he gets it, and he manages to steal it out before the go is used to a bigger effect. <clears throat> Only on in 2%. He's starting to play this slowly, and he needs to play this carefully rather than constantly running in. Because, because Spider-Man 2 is now starting to wait for these options. Now starting to try and guess what iCaller is trying to do, because iCaller has not changed really what, he, what his uh, disadvantage options are. <clears throat> but now here comes the combo game, and as you can see, yeah, Icarly is constantly waiting for these air dodges, these uh, lazy reactions that was giving him so much more, or uh, doing so much earlier, but Spider-Man 2 is no longer biting. He's simply just sitting there and waiting. <clears throat> but, Icarly, the uh, only down a little bit, he just, this is just one good down, banana into down to up smash, and it should be right here. Uh, he does not get, he does not manage to get uh, the kill, uh, but, and he sees that the air dodge in, and he goes for the forward, or when he could have aimed for an up smash or etc., but he wasn't too confident in it. And he's looking for these down tilts, as you can see, to try and combo off of it. And Spider-Man 2 also knows this. He needs to be careful, he needs to know that, and he gets punished for it. But, <clears throat> okay, even though he missed the punish on the Buster Wolf, I Carly manages to still stock. Now it's 12, it's only 12% down. This is, this could be anyone's game. And it just depends on whoever manages to make to take full opportunity of the other person's disadvantage shape because that's where all these guys have been getting their have been getting everything from. And it's from their habits. And that's the thing you have to recognize. But Spider Man 2 is slowly taking ahead. He is more than twice percent ahead. And, and not much he saw us go 93%. This is just a, essentially a jab jab power dunk or a down tilt. And he reads the roll, tries to go for a down tilt side touch, and then he gets a down tilt into Burning Knuckle. But the Diddy Kong is still alive, still living. Then he goes for a box off the power dunk, and he gets one more. Gotta be patient, Spider Man. He cannot give this away. He's still looking through, he's sending, he wants this kill. But <clears throat> I call he's playing patient. He, he's playing patient, he's trying to sniff off off these like moments of bloodlust and he's doing a good job of quelling it but he misses the banana toss but i but spider-man 2 missed the opportunity gets hit to one more banana toss to kills, and does he get the power dunk and he does and that is game four going to spider-man 2. he's on the cusp of making this reverse 3 -0. he's on the cusp of making this reverse 3 -0. however this means he still has to play on iCarly's counter pick and so, will they put it back or will iCarly look for a uh, different stage to play on? I feel betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. This was, they sent out the homo here, what? Okay, and it seems like uh, they're running straight back. We're getting the Diddy Kong and the Terry again. The different stage, nope, it's the same run back. Not too sure if I agree with the choice of constantly running it back when he has lost on here twice already. I can understand that it may just be like he just figured out something or un is now starting to think of what he should be doing instead. But now it seems like <clears throat> he has figured out something because he's starting to use a lot more monkey flip. And that was something he was not utilizing a lot of in the previous set. You can see that he's constantly throwing that out now. Um, <clears throat> He wants to get that banana. <clears throat> and now let's see, because as you can see, Spider-Man 2 is now starting to do weight and now starting to use a lot more down tilts. Also can cover these landing options, but he's not using as much Nair as he was in the previous game. You can see that these characters, but it seems like... Did he SD? He did. That is a humongous stock going down. Um, but that doesn't mean he's completely out. He has to play clean and he has to play well in order to fully do this. And he also has to make sure he gets the edge, this edge guard. 
There might be a jump. There is no jump, and he takes the sock clean. It's now just an even game. It's so interesting to see how these players have started to adapt the gameplay to try and beat the other player. <clears throat> As you can see, now he's just starting to wait. He's just holding this and more monkey flip. Because uh, <clears throat> there's not many options that Spider-Man 2 has in order to be the monkey flip. Because uh, his outer shield isn't as good. He only has jab. And I'll mention... And if he's constantly holding shield because he has to constantly deal with banana. So it's much more difficult to do. And Spider-Man 2 is just constantly stuck in this vortex that he cannot seem to find him to get himself out of. I Carly is tearing a new one, and he does not want this to go. He does not want to get the worst 3 0'd. <clears throat> and now he's waiting, gets the hit. And Spider Man 2 has essentially just given the stock booth the extremely aggressive Buster Wolf to center stage. He's playing too aggressively, and now that's constantly biting him back because. <clears throat> Because iCarly is just constantly punishing him for that, for those greedy, for those greedy options, for those aggressive kind of moves. Because he's just run, he's just taking a step back, and then he's just playing around banana, and he's also playing around the monkey flip to where he doesn't really do anything. But Spider-Man Two seems to have caught on, is now starting to ca call out where iCarly is trying to go. <clears throat> Essentially, it's just a, it's just a cat and mouse. However, now I'll. <clears throat> Kind of defensive options are starting to wear down and they're not starting to work as iCarly is starting to look, but Spider Man does find that down tilt side B. And now it is essentially an even game because these couple more conversions are all he'll need. If iCarly can't finish off the stock when Spider Man 2 is in go, he will have a very high chance of essentially losing this game. He needs to make sure that when he gets this kill, he needs to make this count. Even with an SD, he has made, managed to make this game even and is in a winning position. Spider-Man 2 needs to play slowly and he's, I think he's starting to realize that. However, that parry, now he has go and now, now you know that I call it has to play more defensively, more carefully, so he doesn't get punished. And you know this kid, get the side smash and does that kill. And it does, I call it prevents the reverse 3 0 and takes the set. <laughs> Good job! I like how your adaptation in the last game was three months and four months for the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. And I was like, here's what you told me. No, I'm going to spend three. Yeah, you know what? Game four, game three, game four, and then game five is still alive. Well, there's the numbers. Just just yeah, hey. Uh-huh. Uh, I need to upgrade that. Um, very, where is this mouse? He's lost a Yeah, it's so ugly right now. Okay. Just be Yeah. 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 Okay, well, it still says these guys, and uh, I don't know how. I know. Okay, well, we are now going. Lachino versus iCarly. Diddy Kong versus Bowser. 
and I'm not too entirely sure how this matchup works, but theoretically, uh, Diddy Kong should absolutely destroy him, because a disadvantage sort of Bowser, especially with cooped with Banana, makes it much more difficult for Bowser to find any opening or to land. He's going to be stuck into a constant vortex, but the Bowser has to play extremely carefully and patiently as well. He can't overextend even though he has to be the one to initiate the fights. And so it's going to be really interesting to see how Luchino approaches Okay, well, uh, I guess I have to switch it again to match with the players. I'm so sorry, chat. Okay, there you go. Luchino's on the left, I call it on the right. You get it. So now it's at 142. This is the big moment for Bowser because it's going to be hard to kill, especially since he needs to get a straight banana into a follow up. <clears throat> he missed the edge guard there, tries to go for it, and now this is where it's big time. And, oh, can we make it back? And he explodes. He almost makes it back, but he crucially has these, thus resetting it back. Tries to go for the up B, and now he comes the combo up air, down air, no jump, and he tries to go for the double, and he misses. Lechino tries to retaliate just his back with the down air, but he, bar but he barely managed, but he barely misses it. Uh, and here comes the punish from the grab. Here comes, does he land it? He misses the forwarder. That is some crucial damage that he needs, and because of the deficit that he will end up having to face, because of the nature of this matchup. He's going to be stuck in his combo, stuck in his vortex, and, uh, and he needs to make all the percent he counts to where he does get those crucial hits, then he does just kill the Diddy Kong and a couple of hits. You see that downer, and he needs to be careful of doing that, because Diddy Kong can punish him from so far away. And that's the other thing, the Z drop down, the Z drop down air. That would be something that Latino has to keep, has to keep track of careful but now here comes to where he can get most of his salt from which is the ledge trapping same breath that should do a good job of preventing the uh, diddy kong's uh side b and up b but he's up but uh i call it opted just to go high just to completely avoid it he gets the back throw and here it comes can he get the ledge trap that i call it manages to guess correctly and fights back 184 percent on lachino and he's doing a wonderful job of staying alive i mean he needs to get that side b get that forward and he does Tries to, ca tries to catch him on the jump, but iCarly immediately starts swinging before the Gino can. And he gets caught on the banana tilt and dies up to 209%. 95%, so it's not entirely out of the park for him to kill him and to even the stock. Not mentioned, it's essentially even unless you kill Bowser. <clears throat> and you see how safe iCarly is playing and how he's just waiting and tries to go for the double dare. But Lachino knows this and he dips, dips low enough and doesn't jump to prevent it. And he's doing a great job of avoiding getting gift at these early percents. However, as this lead slowly goes further or further away from him, he might get last. So he has to find this kill soon or at least kill him before he gets to way high of a percent. To been, where he cannot touch Diddy's shield without getting without getting banana toss. And this is where it comes to the issue. 107%, 115, and now it's gonna be hard to try and dodge that, but he goes high and clips him, which is a good mix up. Oh, and banana saves him, but he doesn't get that. And he goes for it, and then he gets caught with another banana. But he does get the side B eventually. He but the Diddy Kong is still alive. And there comes the problem. He has to land, and Diddy Kong gets the forwarder, and he dies. 120%. This is more than winnable for Lucino to do. This is more than minimal for Lucino. In the side smash, oh, but that interesting DI. But now he has no jump, and he gets job zone, and he falls. Game one goes to iCarly. Uh, I don't know if this will be updating. <clears throat> oh, yep, it is. It is updated. So, oh, whoops. So, let's check out the stage bounds. Seems like uh, they're not doing it via the interface, and seems like they're just kind of like deciding where to go. And it seems that they have decided to go to town and city. This is a rather interesting one, in my opinion, for the two. Oh, it's because he decided to swap the wolf. This makes sense because if he were to pick Bowser, the final destination layout doesn't really help him. But since Wolf does like to kick those back airs and that's nice awesome. and that F tilt and that's how Lachino likes to play Wolf, this pick is pretty good because Final D it's gonna be much harder to avoid those lasers. But at the same time, it's gonna be more difficult to avoid Monkey Flip and that banana because he has to approach from the air. Air if he doesn't want to. <clears throat> so let's see. Lachino hasn't really practiced as often and his Wolf isn't as uh, refined as his. Bowser is. So let's see if he can manage to make this work. But 
as iCarly has not managed to be touched, this looks to be quite difficult for Jump. But he does go for the side smash, and then that gives him his opening. 30%. Uh, I'll only get up tilted. And now, let's see. There's a chase that gets the grab. The human. Can you make it back? He does manage to reflect using it as how Asakura intended to. And then Arkali tries to read or reads the jump and goes for the up smash, but he doesn't manage to kill. 142. This is prime kill percent for the Diddy Kong. The reverse down tilt. I have never seen that before, but that is extremely good for Luchino because it means that he gets back on stage and he can go for the lasers. And now you can see that Arkali is more antsy for the kill. Luchino now, now just has to keep the same idea of do not get touched and laser. And but iCarly catches his jump with the off smash and takes a stock. Gatino's gonna have a difficult time to try and kill Diddy Kong. Because the difficulty comes because Diddy Kong is so small. While trying to land back airs, the main another main form of how Wolf does is gonna be difficult. As you can see right there, he mistimed it, but it was it has to space at that low of, low of a height in order to even hit Diddy Kong. So it's more difficult to go for. Otherwise, he has to go for smash attacks. But considering that Diddy Kong can uh, heavily punish them with uh, Banana, it's scary to go for. Now he's at 79%. He has to figure out how to land without getting banana And you see right there, mm, this kind of stuff is safe. Yep, and here comes the banana. Here comes the bat down throw. He tries to wait for the air dodge to beat out, and then he catches his jump again. And that's the second time he's been called out for it. And Healman has almost no answer. His gun's getting punished. 35% gets caught on the landing, but he does get the back throw. And see if he can finish the sludge trap. Tries to get it, but no, he gets get up attacked before he can do anything. But he does get the back air, so he does take a stock, uh, giving him some uh, something to work with. However, it is looking down. But he does get the throw, does get the up throw, gets the grab and he's chasing. He does fire the laser at the correct height in order to stop it, but he gets punished for firing that laser because of the banana. And now all he has to do is slowly chip down the Diddy Kong. However, the Diddy Kong is playing the same way. He's just looking for the one moment that Kilman gives him up, gives an opening for him to get a banana toss. And he'd like right there. Did the chase? He does get the grab. <clears throat> Tries to kill him with the down smash, but he does anti him with the nair. And now, does he go for it? And he gets a down smash. Almost bad the eye, but the Diddy Kong still lives. And now he has to win another one. He chooses the roll again and he gets it. Killman looking for the slow kills with the safe forwarder. But now he has to be afraid with the banana peel. Because if the banana peel hits him, as he lands right there, he will die for it. And he dies. Game two goes to iCarly. Now then, here comes a pivotal point for Lachino. Does he stay on the wolf or does he swap to Bowser? Considering that he has opted for the wolf, Instead of his Bowser and his wolf isn't as refined, it seems that he does not want to go through with that matchup at any cost. So he may still stick with the wolf. However, this makes it more difficult because that means he's playing behind already. So, uh, what are the adjustments that Lachino will make? And let's see if anything changes in here, whether it be a character, and it seems like he is going back to his Bowser, his tried and true, and he's just gonna have to stick it through the combos until he does get his opening. Something that takes quite the mental in order to do so. So that's how this goes. And they go back to Pokemon Stadium. This is a rather interesting pick because this is a lot of space for Diddy to work with. And I feel like this isn't really the best pick to go for. But surely he must know something more than I do. But now here comes the issue, is that every time the human tries to land, he is getting banana -ed. But this time he managed to get away with it, and he gets 32% for his troubles. There it comes. As you can see how the, how the Kong is going, he's constantly running away and anti-airing, or constantly challenging him in the air before the air. As you can see right there, everybody tries to get there, and he opts to go for a grab, but Healman manages to get at his guess correct, and get the option correct, and gets the grab. So now it's essentially kill percent for the two of them, but Bowser are much farther away. <clears throat> but as you can see, this is the game plan. Custom running through, but Healman is managing to find his way through the defenses. Oh, but now here comes death, and he dies, takes. Uh, but he, the Diddy Kong is only at 83%, 100%. Rumor F tilt should be able to finish this off. Or Reed, he gets the up air. A side B should be able to catch it if he's able to get to the Diddy Kong. He gets another forward air, 136%. This is going for much better next time. But here it comes, he goes for the side B much earlier than he's supposed to. 
He gets the forwarder once again. Can he get the edge? Can he get the ledge trap? He tries to dash in, but the landing arranges to get it. He doesn't react in time to the monkey flip and gets it. Hit again and again and again. The iCarly is doing a great job and making sure he does not give Heleman the opportunity to get these side bees, etc. As you can see, he's constantly positioning himself away to where Heleman has to make a commitment in order to get anything done. He's staying at the perfect percent to where Heleman either has to throw a forwarder, a backer, or something punishable, but then he manages to snap the side B and he gets the kill. Only 82%? This is perfectly doable for Lachino. But he gets made around to his up and it takes a not terrible punish, only a dash attack. <clears throat> iCarly has opted for playing more safe, and that is exactly what he should be doing. He shouldn't be trying to give Lachino an opening, but he does, and he ends up getting a 31%, and it turns out he didn't have a jump. This is a bet of, like, this is the opportunity that Lachino needs in order to have the lead for the first time in this set. And can he make more use of it? Because now he just needs to ensure that he doesn't die. Gets to the mana toss, into the up air, doesn't get the forward air, but he does get 21%, and that is a good start. But he does get back aired. And now he's off stage. Now he's on stage. Tries to land. He doesn't get the landing. And he tries to catch him. But it doesn't do it. Uh, he misses. And now he has to play the slow game of having to wait for Hillman to land. And Hillman knows this as well, which is why Hillman. But he steps off the ledge, and that could have been an opportunity, but he only but I call it ops for the dash attack punish. But Hillman tries to go for the suicide again. Does Icarly make it back this time instead of SD? Does he? No, he does not. And Hillman takes the third game. Will we see another situation like Spider-Man 2 versus iCarly, where iCarly goes to the brink of getting reverse 3 out, or will we see him finish it off in this fourth game? He is still opting for the Violet, no, not the Violet, for the Dip Kong to Bowser, and it seems like they ran it back to the same stage, something that I disagree of what Heelman should get. But if Heelman won the counter pick, it is clearly working and something has gone right for him. So there is no reason for him to not. He gets the up throw and he misses the banana drop RNG, matching the potentially cop him out of 12%. But he goes for the flame bath and now you know Heelman is in his element because he has gotten the side B. He gets another side B, but that banana has been the bane of his existence, constantly stopping him from getting tons and tons of percent <clears throat> from Heelman now. That banana has managed to stop his momentum, but he does get that side beat that he should have gotten a while ago. And now it's a 77%. Heelman, it seems that something has clicked. It seems that something has made sense for Heelman. And we'll see if he's able to uh, fully take it home. But Arcarly, he's starting to get impatient. He's starting to want to do more. He's starting to want to try and do damage. But Heelman fully knocks him out with the F tilt. Knock him out. And once again, Heelman now has the lead, but this time, and not through an SD, but through his gameplay. Heelman does end up avoiding that up smash dodge, or avoiding that up smash. Gets up the 20% for his shovels, and he doesn't grab the ledge. That is a crucially crucial SD, and also may stop Heelman, or may stop Heelman's momentum to allow iCarly to catch up, up and to run him over. But Heelman does not seem to be giving him that. But, uh, I apologize if you heard that. But Heelman does get the flame breath. That is a fat 22%. He tries to get the first F-tilt, but he misses, but then he gets it again. And now here comes the fun part with covering. Heelman gets a side B. He's landing, holds out. He manages the DI correctly. But now comes, he tries to go for the F-tilt again, gets stuck, gets another grab. I, Carly is now getting stuck into the cycle of constantly holding shield around him because he's starting to be afraid. And then he needs to start moving more to where he doesn't get that side beat. <clears throat> Goes for another one, and Heelman takes it, get the back throw, 160% takes him out. 68% humongous lead on the side of Heelman. Heelman gets a dash or gets a punish and he misses the follow-up once again take a shot how many times Heelman misses his up throw follow-up I assume it's more difficult but whatever still take your shots fellas but he is now he is the one who's waiting for the Diddy Kong to do something except right there where he just ran down and forward aired and got punished for it but that's not the point here 
He's now trying to see see if iCarly will throw out that Asash, throw out that aggressive option to try and catch Heelman. And Heelman is waiting, constantly catching him when he's trying to trying to hold shield. But iCarly is now getting to that waiting where he's just sitting and waiting for Heelman to now approach him. It's this constant delicate balance of I sh of push and pull, push and pull, red light, green light. <clears throat> and each one is taking the each one is losing, honestly, in that game, but Helaman is winning a lot more because iCarly cannot find that opening, and as I say that commentator's curse, he finds that opening at 192. He is down 63%, but that is just, he just needs a good combo for that. Helaman has been constantly shooting his banana tosses, so he might try to look for something like a grab instead. But now, that's dash attack into a back air. The misses. But Heelman now on the ledge trap. Can he finish off the stock or will he end up dying here? He does get the roll read and does he die correctly? Nope, he does not. iCarly loses. Game 5. And now it is a run back. This game. Will determine who walks home at fourth and who continues on to face Orchid in losers finals. We're still going. <laughs> and let's see if Dude, this thing is like, what the heck is this? What happened here? Whatever. Okay, not important. But this match is quite important because it will show who has adapted the most, iCarly or Lachino. And as Lachino has been winning these past two games, it seems like he's the one on the adoption side. However, oh, we did see once again how iCarly almost gave up, almost, lost, almost gave a 3-0 or reverse 3-0. But he managed to clutch at the very end. And we'll see if this happens. And it seems like he's on track to do just that once again. He is 80% ahead, 133%. He chose up a tight match. And Bowser's heaviness keeps him alive. 156. He needs to make sure that he gets his banana. He cannot give up this opportunity. He cannot give Heelman an inch, or he will take a mile. He gets the Heelman gets the forward. And here it comes. Has the banana peel. Heelman drops shield too early. And now here it comes. Does he get side bead? And he needs to make sure he does not, but he does get the punish on the landing, and now he is ahead. Heelman's on the back burner, and Heelman has to look for a kill. He gets the burst F tilt, and now here comes the ledge trap. <clears throat> Tries to go for the side bead, but Ike's Carly is more than comfortable with just running away and giving all that space for Heelman. If that means that he can get more space to play around with Banana and get Heelman to make a uh, impatient an aggressive option, like that app smash that we just saw right there. And you can see how he drop showed right there because he was afraid of getting side beat. As long as he does not allow Kielman to get those kill things. But Kielman holds up the downer that he has not been doing this entire time, gets the kill. And that's something that he has made sure to condition iCarly to not be aware of. And now that will be stuck on iCarly's, iCarly's mind the entire time. But now here comes the issue, is that when iCarly does, that means that he just defaults back to standing still and tossing the banana. As you can see right there, but he does manage to land it because Heelman drifted in. Something that iCarly did not expect. But now iCarly just needs a banana in order to kill. And he's been swinging preemptively to see if Heelman will jump or do something to avoid the banana toss. But Heelman has held his patience and has always held shield during it, making these attempts moot. 139%, Heelman tries to go for the reeve of the back air to try and snipe Ice Carly. Carly, <clears throat> but iCarly doesn't bite, and now here comes a ledge trap. Stuck at ledge, always stuck at ledge. And let's see, does he get it? And Heelman does get the side B, and now iCarly 107%. The potential is getting closer and closer, but this is more in Bowser's favor because it's much more difficult to kill Bowser. And he gets a siding F tilt. Heelman is now one stock away from winning this set, from the com from getting demolished to now getting this reverse 3-0. Or will iCarly match up go? He gets the reverse. He holds in because he does not want to give it forward. He goes for he tries to go finish him off with the forward air. Barely misses. But now iCarly, he's constantly swinging with these forward airs, these up tilts. And can he do it? He's waiting for the downer. But he does chase him and gets the up on the platform. And now only 56 for 10. This is just two more conversions. But to heal him in, this is just three more hits in order for him to die. And he tries to get it back here. Barely misspaced. 
And now here's where both these care both these players, their adrenaline must be going high. Their hearts must be beating. Because each one of them knows they're so close to winning. And that they just need this one final hit in order to do so. But they have to remember to stay calm and not to mess up and give something stupid for their opponent. Healman reacts. Does he need DI in time? He does DI it. Healman, now he has to survive the ledge. Now this is one human's best things. He does the flame breath. And now goes for it. Waits for the air dodge. Doesn't do so. Healman tries to forward air. We'll see. And he goes for the side view again. But Healman barely misses. Trying to go for it. Gets the, he's stuck in the vortex. Human now looking for that side B. He goes for it again. He gets monkey for, for the first time grabbed. And now, how these miss inputs. Now, all they're trying to do is look for that final hit. Human needs and gets a side turn. Human messes up the eye. And I currently catches it out and does vents the reverse 3 0. -oh. <laughs> Three two in my favor. Three. Now we will be seeing Orchid versus iCarly. Oh, oh. Hey man. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Almost doesn't cut it though. Yeah. There's some fortune on a couple of misses on the side B. Had, had an opportunity there, but you know, yeah. I joked. Nerves are real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair. He almost choked that. Oh, Oh, well. sure. Can you plan on moving then? Okay, uh... Is it possible I can catch a ready with you? Think you're going to get some dinner, though. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. I don't know, like, wedges or something. Okay. I don't know. Because, uh... The bus is still running at the time, but I do not want to walk up. Seems earlier. Oh, I took the bus here. Yeah, I, mean, I took the ride. It's wet hard. You know, sure. Okay, then I'll come with you. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's fine. I'll come with you. No, 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 no. If you need to leave that, we can do it. Okay, then play some bonus. Alright, apologies for that. Now we're seeing iCarly versus Orchid, and I need to move it around again. Yo! Okay. So, this match was rather interesting because, uh, Rough Factor is always an option when it comes to the banana, but <clears throat> I don't think it's that big of a thing <clears throat> because essentially it's a read. Because the Diddy Kong can just toss it down and just go for a grab. And at a certain percent, the, you just have to make a read rather than it's just a first option. And the edge guarding, I imagine, is not that fun for Falka. <laughs> but let's see if iCarly is able to secure this. Because it seems like he is doing a good job. <clears throat> and Orchid sniffs out the roll and gets the down tilt. And yeah, you see how he's holding that banana and he's just waiting. <clears throat> and you see how Orchid is looking for these like kind of like these combo starters to try and get all this percent. Cons are trying to condition. And the Diddy Kong to go high, so um, <clears throat> so Orchid can either go for up tilts, catch him with nares, forward airs, or just even up tilt, or just even just running up and grabbing him. Yep, and we see that right there, these up tilts. And once again, he gets another up tilt, misses the drag down on top where he doesn't land with him. And now let's see who gets the next one, because Orchid has managed to pop there. Okay, yeah, well, if you probably heard that in the background, that they just cheered about timing each other out. Dude, this game is dead, holy moly. But, see, Orchid missed the follow-up. He doesn't get the up tilt into conversion. But let's see if with every single opportunity of given life, can iCarly make it. But iCarly keeps swinging, keeps swinging preemptively. Sometimes it works, but in these kind of couple of sets, it is kind of screwed. But he does get the up tilt kill. 
And let's see if iCarly... Not iCarly. If I, yeah, I guess iCarly. If iCarly can continue this, but Cupid is holding this. Gets up there into drag down. He barely misses. Once again, flubbing the, down, the short, the full hop down air, and he gets down smash first troubles. That would have been a extremely nice stock to have taken. And then he's securing him game one. But now he has to play this out. Something that he probably wanted to avoid. Because the laser can't be, he just takes 7% of lasers. Thus also unstaling all of Falco's moves. But now he lands on stage, tries to hold it again, and he gets grabbed, he gets with the back air. And now it's basically anyone's game. And he gets sniped, and does is he dead? He is. Orchid takes the first game. And now let's see where these guys go to. Mainly Orchid bans on destination and Kalos. Even though those lasers are good on those stages, he does not want to have to deal with that banana peel. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Same reason why I banned Hollow Bastion. Because that banana peel is extremely easy to set up on that platform. And now we move back into their gameplay. Mm -hmm. And iCarly seems to be quite frustrated with this performance. <clears throat> And let's see if he can clean itself, clean himself up. Well, uh, there's an announcement that the building is closing in five minutes. So we'll see if these fellows can finish their set in five minutes. Guess that means I'm also leaving, but uh, yeah. Hopefully, they have a good game. Anyways, uh, I'll probably be heading up. So you guys have a great night. Have fun watching.
Let's just do this. Let's just keep messing with you. Let's go. Oh, oh, had enough already? I think it sounds like so. Yeah, I just want you to have this. Thanks. Let's go. Sorry, it's just Yeah. yeah. So, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. 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 I